welcome! Hello. We are Small and Mighty, and today we're going to be playing some D&D! Oh, that's why, that's what we are going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what, Unai? I dropped it. <laughs> my brain. So, so, sorry, mate, I'm not sure how you got in here, but me and my mates are trying to play some D&D. Do you mind? Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really, it's really fun. throwed me off my river there. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna be, you know, I, I was gonna try to be snappy and just make a joke. Uh, but, Who is uh, this guy with the buzz cut, guys? Yeah, uh, I just, how did he get access to this group? Uh, All right, that's a uh, smaller Maddy intro take two. Yes, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello, welcome. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we're small and mighty, and we're gonna play some DnD. <laughs> how are we doing, everybody? <laughs> Oh, sure. Fine. The best. Okay. Uh, I say it every time, but we're in a weird mood today. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm all the fine. stress of this campaign. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah. I'm sure. yeah, yeah. It's 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 knowing what fresh hell uh, awaits us, or not knowing what fresh hell awaits us in this um, combat encounter. We're already halfway through. Yes. Yeah. Petition so the... for this for our campaign to you know have like some. Counseling with a psychologist after <laughs> not not us not us as players just the just if the you've been affected by <laughs> any of the by content any you've seen in the D &D stream <laughs> yeah cool so yes so we're gonna play for about two to three hours as always short break about an hour in but as always this is D and D and improv anything can happen so we'll just see how it goes um we have a D and D Beyond overlay. It's on one of these two sides. You can click Ooh. on it. You can see character health. You can see how wounded Pebble is right now as he's being beaten to a pulp. <laughs> Use it. We like it. We it's do. fun. Uh, <laughs> we to his own chair now. <laughs> he's claimed it immediately. Good. All right. Ryan has a new chair, and of course, it is yeah. being claimed by his cat. Oh yes. If anything, and you mean my cat has a new scratching post? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's painful. If if anything funny should happen with Ryan's chair, I I will make sure to. Yeah, everyone be soon. prepared to clip um, because the chair is not very well put together. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Just practicing my reaction what faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Somehow I misheard mariachi faces, and I was like. What does he mean? Yeah. <laughs> Quick, everyone, show your mariachi faces. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> I, I don't know how to do that. I'm not Mexican. It's fine. Um... Anyway, <laughs> take control. <laughs> Taking my control. So, <laughs> we'll move. You're the master of this dungeon, Adam. Come on, <laughs> rein it in. Oh, some weeks you just don't have the energy, honestly. <laughs> so no. Uh, right. No, seriously. Um. <laughs> Inspiration token. I have it down at Verity. You have the inspiration token for this week. Do I think I? it might be. I think it might be you were given to you the previous week. We didn't use it, so this is your last oh, time to use it. I used it on something stupid like making hats. Yes, we did. You did. I remember this. So maybe we didn't yeah. give it out to someone else. No, uh -oh. we, did. we did give it out to I someone. I have a feeling I gave it to Sarah. I. Yes, that does sound familiar. Why? Actually, what did yeah. I do? <laughs> No, because you... I remember because she made cool flashback. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come to that in a second. With the, with the OG vampire. Yeah. 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 Like you know. We'll get into that detail in a second. My recap. But you're I right. Know. Actually, yes, Sarah, you had it. <laughs> so my notes were wrong. Sarah, you have the inspiration uh, token this week. Yay! Inspiration tokens take two. Um, cool. Yes, you have the inspiration token this week. Okay, on two questions. So. You guys obviously uh, started to make your way away from the Dalewind, heading back towards town. Um, but as you were travelling, well, while you were in the Dalewind, you all obviously had encounters of certain types. But interestingly enough, as you were now leaving the Dalewind, something was still happening to Pebble. What was it? Ding, ding, ding. Go on, Pebble. A little eye? A, a third, well, two, a few things. A third eye and voices in my head. The, yes, the third eye actually predates the forest. Okay. You got that during the fight with the wyverns. Uh, but yeah. the voice in your head is the one in particular, so yes, that is right. You still have this voice yeah. in your head. Um, whatever that means. Um, and I like Although, it. I think you did maybe possibly drunkenly try and explain that to the rest of the party while you were poisoned 
but I think everyone kind of dismissed it then and there. Oh, well, it's fine. No, Tali said it might not be a, it's not a bad voice then. That's true. No, no, Tali, Tali, I think Tali was the only one to take it somewhat seriously. Um, but yes, you stand your way, and as you were going, um, Tali, uh, you utilize a new ability to yourself, which is the Identify Curse spell. You cast it on Chad. Uh, and in doing so, you were granted a vision. What happened in that vision? Bad, bad things. Bad things. There was the big, big fight between a like a dryad, like a big tree sort of spirit, and a a dude. Yeah, this other guy yeah, uh, with, a with, a, with a purple cape and the and the claws. Um, Go on, Will. Yeah. You want to add something? Oh, yeah. Go. Yes, Baroth. Yes, Baroth. Oh. Correct. Yeah. Um, he had. He's on some crusade. I don't know quite the specifics, but some crusade, and he wants to find immortality, and he's destroying lots of things. And then he killed the tree spirit guardian. He got cursed, which how it got vampires. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Um, and then I yes. showered at him. <laughs> yes, and then it turned out you weren't just a observer in that vision. You were actually there and there, and uh, he took it as some sort of um, sign from Intin that he was on the right course. Which you've of course told him he was evil and nasty and that was bad. Um, he didn't really seem to get the point. Uh, and then, yeah, that kind of point you snapped back out of your vision. I feel I really feel like words like evil and nasty and bad are really up for interpretation on a on a moral level. So um, yeah, I can I can see his confusion. Yeah, yeah like, like the, uh, the 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 way that that was explained is like, oh, that's evil in a good way, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm you, evil you know, too. like in a like a sexy kind of evil, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but I also told him told him to stay away from my friend, and so in the process, also told him that I had a friend that yeah, he should you stay did away say, from. Stay away from my friend. You also that's... told him the origin of a curse, which. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Interesting. Because he is. <laughs> he is the origin of a curse. He just probably doesn't know that yet. Well, <laughs> maybe just... maybe he'll. It'll... Motivate him to reflect upon his life. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's why there's not really that many vampires around. He was like, oh yeah. shit, I'm the origin of a curse, I should be careful. Sounds pretty bad. Um, so that happened. But yes, in also casting Identify Curse, you did actually learn a few things about vampirism. In particular, you learned how to cure it. What was the way to cure vampirism? No, no, no. Go on, Ryan. Kill it. You kill him! Yeah. <laughs> my simple solution to vampirism, you kill him! <laughs> so. Yes, now you learnt that upon death, the uh, body and soul are cured of all signs of vampirism. Um, so not a simple cure, but something I think Tali has ideas about maybe possible ways to work around. I mean, well... Revival I... magic, you know? Yeah. yeah. Make Chad a zombie instead. Easy. Well, also, we also learned that if Chad doesn't feed, he might just become a mindless monster. Um, that was another part of it, yes. yes. Yeah, you learn a few things. Like, Chad is also effectively immortal. He'll live forever. As long as he doesn't get killed. Hmm. Uh, if he doesn't, if he tries to abstain from feeding, he'll turn into a monster. Yeah. Uh, and then Not a few really. other things. He also gains a lot of strength and stuff like that from vampirism. Yeah, and I think it... Chad was... Uh, the more time he was explained to Chad, the more Chad was like, oh, yeah, no, this is, this is such a terrible curse. I should oh, really... I'm... I'm so, oh, I'm so annoyed that I'm immortal now. Oh, uh, and so oh, strong, no. and oh. oh, these psychic powers are just so inconvenient. Oh, oh, oh goodness, yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a tough life, being a, a tough, um, tough life. Yeah. Um, being an immortal superhero, basically. <laughs> yeah. Being an immortal superhero <laughs> who occasionally needs to do a slightly evil thing, but whatever. Yeah, you just have to kill people. That's kind of, you know, against that superhero vibe. Um, anyway, you continue travelling back to the city and um, you ran into no further uh, trouble on the roads and eventually made your way back to the Five Fellows pub. What was waiting for you there when you arrived? Oh, 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 Go on, Will. <laughs> Uh, a recording of Bachard's voice in his office um, and an ambush from the... I've already forgotten their names, uh, but... Ding, ding. What are they called? The Messers. Oh. The Messers. Messers, um, who were after... They're after the Teen and the Godling. Yes, that actually answers my next question. So yes, who are they after? <laughs> Pick alive. Uh, so keep the Teen and the Godling alive. 
Was it actually Bertrand's voice on the road? Or was it just a random? It wasn't specific. I thought it was a random voice. It's hard to tell. It, 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 it wasn't a voice so much. It was just a muffled sort of mm-hmm. groan. It was just a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. noise coming from like a small recording. But yes, uh, as you kind of made your way into the pub looking for Bertrand, uh, windows were smashed as essentially the fantasy equivalent of Molotov cocktails are thrown into the building, setting the pub alight. You heard voices shouting, go, 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 get them. Um, but also ran into a strange leather-clad bird masked figure called the Crow. Not that you actually know their name, but you can oh, see yeah. it on Roll20. Yeah. Um, who dropped from the rafters and uh, beat the <laughs> living shit out of Pebble. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Left you stunned and then just walked away from you. I mean, not not so much stunned, like, as in combat, but also, like, it's a stunning figure, you know, to encounter. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Gorgeous, yes. Like, yeah, damn, I'm not even mad. Damn. <laughs> I want that. Damn. I want that power. Um, sure. <laughs> so, that's where we pick up. Uh, nice. So, yes, you had one round of combat, uh, during which also time Chad was trying to throw a guy out of the window, and somehow this guy just wouldn't budge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I remember this. Well, notably, also, Chad, you picked up on the fact that all of the, well, the meta you've seen so far uh, seem to be wearing gas masks. Yes. Um, but, I'm in the process of trying to remove this guy. Yes, now. and also struggling uh, with that got, for some reason. I think I've got like a hand on his face. Yeah, you've got uh, him grappled, <laughs> you're holding his head, and some reason his mask is stuck tight. Um, I'm going to change the music over. Mm-hmm. and set my light to red for combat. Ooh. <gasps> oh, no. And we pick up at the top of the round, so we're with Tali. Right. Uh, so you had just climbed up into your loft. Yes, but then also I've just spotted brass. Cause no, no, I've just climbed down again. I think, didn't I? No, oh. you just climbed up. Okay. You got and climbed so up and got to above up. brass. Yeah. Because okay. basically, you had heard fire and smashing around the building, yes. and you've gone up to there. Yes. And after you left the room, that's when the crow dropped down yes. to attack Pebble. So technically, while you were up in the loft, a brass would have walked underneath you through the hallway. Yes. So what did what did Tali hear when they were up in? I can't stop the ladder because that will inform what they do next. Oh shit! I'm uh, just... Roll me a retroactive perception check. We will find out what you heard. Okay. There's a lot of noise going around the park, so you okay. might not have heard. The particular right... that. I feel like this is not the right bit of the map that I have to Fifteen. show now. Uh, you want to go on the bottom, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fifteen. Mhm. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you can hear there's some struggling going on downstairs. Um. Which you, well, you don't know it's Chad, but it is Chad. Um, but you do with a 15 hear the sound of fighting going on for the room you were just in, Bertrand's room. Okay, okay. And in my, so I'm, I'm now in, t- in my own room. Yes. Did we ever agree? Was there, was there a window in this room or not? Yes, there's one window in your room. Okay. Small, would it, would it, window. would it be an action to open the window to have a little, like, Look around the outside to see if we're surrounded, etc. I would say yes. Okay. Um. Okay, that's fine. I will do that. Yeah. Cool. Well, perception check then. Yeah. Okay. But I guess I'll move and everything afterwards, so I'll then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, a nine. Nine. No, okay. no, no, an, a ten. A ten. Ten, okay. You do try and stick your head out the window, and it's kind of awkward. Where the, like, the loft is positioned, the window's quite far back into the palm. You can see, like, almost, like, further out. Yep. But you, and, like, looking at the streets, you hear, like, sounds and noises, but you can't see anyone. If there are people, maybe they're closer to the pub than you can see. Like, maybe pulled against the walls. Um, okay. But you can't see anyone, so you can't get a sense of numbers. How, is the window big enough for me to squeeze out of it? No, probably not. So okay, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a viable escape route. Not really, no. Damn. That's annoying. Okay. It is. Yeah. Uh Tali will then go back down to the room Pebbles in because that seems like a no go. My friend's in danger. Let's go do let's go make sure they're okay. That's fair. But but try and do it quietly. <coughs> So you want to go right down again? Yes. Yeah, okay. But um, like, quietly. 
<laughs> you, yeah, unfortunately, you, well, you yeah. say it's quietly, but you've used your action on perception checks, which means you can't use an action on a stealth check now. Oh, so. that's okay, that's fine. I didn't so really you would be yeah. just climbing back down to the hallway. Um, I'll say from, you already aren't there, and moving around doesn't really take much time, so I'll say it uses half your movement to get back down, so you still have uh, 15 foot of movement if you want to get move around. Can I get into the, into the room? Uh, no, you'd be able to get basically that's one square ahead of the I wouldn't die if I went diagonally. <laughs> um, can't really go diagonally through a door like that. Well, this is not okay. I guess I'll just go and <laughs> stand outside the door then. That's <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have just stayed up. <laughs> uh, Pebble, can you, I just uh, not... Unai, you've stopped showing the map on the stream, by the way. Yeah, because Tally was like in a bit of the map. That, oh, uh... um. If I'm up, if I'm up in the in the thing, but but near where the ladder is, yep. if something happened, would I be able to take a reaction? Would that be a thing I could do? If you were up in the loft, yeah. Um, I would say yes for you specifically because your glaive has reach, so you could probably if someone like ran underneath you, you could probably hit them with the glaive, but only because it's a long weapon. If you want to stay there. Pretending no. that would also be true if you were in the hallway. It's just fine. She'll she'll move to outside the door and she okay. will try and quietly say like through the door like she kind of like a small, small knock and be like, Pebble, I'm Dali's here, so just. I'll, I will I'll... say with a free action you can oh. open the door, so you'll be able to see what's going oh, on. Oh, can inside. I do that? That'd be, that'd yeah. Be good. yeah, I didn't know that was thing. Let's do that. So technically, you have actions, bonus actions, and free actions. They don't well, get I don't know. Very often. I don't know if doors were. I don't know how where doors. <laughs> how do doors work? So in D and D, typically using an item is a free action, unless it's like a very involved thing. So opening a door counts as a free action. Okay. They don't come up too often. Using an item was an of... action, but okay. Depends fine. on the item. I will take it. Let's open the door. <laughs> yes. So the door. You basically push the door open. Yes. Uh, you see Pebble kind of standing there, stunned, kind of dazed in the room, facing away from you. Pebble. Pebble, you good? Are you okay? I can't communicate, right? Well, I mean, it's not my turn, but you. Just... Well, you... so I don't mind you talking on. I don't mind talking when it's not your turn. But okay. the thing is, you actually cannot communicate. Yeah, you yeah. can talk falteringly. You can like. I say, <laughs> ooh. Uh... <laughs> you you hear this kind of muffled, like yeah. stumbling voice from um, from Pebble. Okay, just, just, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be there in a, yeah. in one round. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, also, I've mentioned the obviously you have just pushed past Brask to do that, so you can obviously communicate with yes. Brask. Brask, I think something's wrong with Pebble. I was just gonna come back to try and protect him. We should probably try to stay as a group. We'll have better chances yes. getting out. He's on like, he's on like high alert because he was partway through sprinting to Pebble as fast as he possibly could. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Fuck it. yeah, let's go. Hey, I love Brask. Okay, good. Good. That's me, yeah. I think. Any bonus actions? check. Um. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, no. Oh, actually, how long? A minute is quite a long time in combat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a minute is ten rounds. Um. Oh no! I'll just I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith. Okie dokie. Yeah. On yourself. Yes. Cool. That's in your turn. Yes. On initiative count twenty, all the fire on the map expands. Ooh. Just quickly doing. Uh, uh, see? Down the pub, boys. Honestly, I think I, I don't know how we'd save the pub. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't. How do we? We need water. Foundations are still. Does good. anybody we have? We can rebuild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will make it to Haven. Like, all creatures. Uh, well, all all of our stuff actually would be with us, so that's fine. Because uh, otherwise, yeah. it might get burned away. So there wasn't actually anything teasing. explosive in this pub. <laughs> I mean, depends alcohol. How, depends how high, how high proof the alcohol is, I guess. Yeah. What kind of moonshine would Burchard brew in? Only my personality. Yes. Okay, cool. So that is <laughs> the end of that movement. Um, next up, well, it's Crow's turn. Now, not that anyone can see her. So I like that. 
Ah. No oh, man, have we heard that pronoun before? I thought you'd been vague. Uh, I think I said her last time. I think so. so. Done. Check out where she's going. Cool, okay, she's on that. Uh, Christina, that's you. What do you want to do? Um, so I'm, I'm looking at my bit of map, and yep. there wasn't there a phone nearby. So Burchard had a phone inside the building. Oh, uh, like a, like some like so, like an enemy. I said phone. Oh, foe. Sorry. <laughs> so I heard I heard phone. Um, yeah. So on the so on the map to the building to the right of you, up above there, there is a guy. Oh, he's on the roof. Uh, okay. He's the one who shot you. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm not yeah. casting. I can't. I don't think I'm casting spider climb anymore. I didn't stop necessarily. Uh, is, is it? Does it have like a C on it? Is it a concentration spell? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So you fell on tit damage. So uh, roll me a uh, Constitution saving throw quickly. Let's see if you're maintaining spell or not. Six. Six, no. So yeah, when you fell off the wall, your spell dropped as you hit the floor. Uh, I think technically you're prone as well at the moment. You're laying flat on the floor. So. Yeah, that sounds sensible. Yeah. Um, hmm. Could I do like a perception check to see what this guy looks like and what he's kind of doing? Or she, or they? I don't know. Yeah, go for it. Roll me a perception check. Yeah. <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. Um, so you 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 get shot in the leg as you're laying on the floor. You try and look up to try and find like where this is coming from. And at the moment you are just caked in like mud. And you're trying to like wipe it out of your eyes and stuff. It is not going well. No, I think plan B. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just reading the spell. I'm gonna cast Hunger of Hadar. So I will say that perception check would have taken your action to do. Oh, but it would have done. Okay. That's yeah. Fine. And it has played D&D. It's not been right. 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so you still obviously, you can stand up, you can move, and you can take a bonus action. That's what's, what's remaining for your turn. Okay, I'm just going to move towards where this guy is. Okay. Just to get closer to the building he's on. Yeah. So standing up uses up half your movement, so then you can use move three squares. Um, oh. Obviously, right. Yeah, perfect. And in fact, by pulling yourself against the building, not that you can see the guy, you probably are giving him... <laughs> you're basically pulling yourself to the building where he probably can't shoot you. Realistically, at his angle, so that is uh, a safe move. Cool. And any bonus actions? No, I'm good. Excellent. Chad, it is your turn. You're holding this guy by the mask. You mean relentlessly bashing him with your shield and yet he's still holding on he's still holding on now my uh my initial question before the uh before the flames got really big was going to be yep. if there were any containers of liquid in this room that i could do it. but that's i think i think we're past that moment there uh the the, the these flames are not getting extinguished by anything in this room um yeah, it, to the point where the fire is spreading quicker than you would expect a fire to spread like whatever was thrown in this building is intentionally like burning fast yeah um, has Chad clocked that this guy is a messer? Um, that's a good question. I think... I think based on your experience, you would recognise the uniforms. Okay. They're uh, wearing these got like white coats with these black ruffles and stuff like that. Like, they, there's a very distinctive... Uh, to be honest, they probably have the actual... the 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 insignia on their uniform to be honest yeah so yes yeah, so you would recognize this as a messer right um i've got a question so technically i'm grappling this guy yes he would count as being grappled um could i and this is not necessarily i'm sorry i've got i've got to ask you a bunch of questions no, no, i've got like plans and things um if i can't push him out of this out of this window can i move with him 
out of the window? Can I basically jump out the window with him in front of me? Yeah, you definitely can. Um, <laughs> yeah, so when, you, when you're grappling a target, you can move at half speed and move the target with you. Yes. Um, so you can basically, yes, uh, push him through the window with you. Would that count as my action? No, it would technically just be movement. So we can flavor it as this cool full of chucking through the window, but technically okay. it would only be your movement to do so. Cool. In that case, before I do that, Chad's so Chad, it, you know, flames are getting flames are getting higher. He's just very frustrated. This guy is is not getting pushed out the window and stuff, and he's got his he's got his thing. Chad has just noticed that this is a this is a messer guy. He knows what that means. Uh, and all of the stuff that Chad has learned about himself today and his, his you know, his, his feelings stuff. Chad's gonna fucking bite this guy. Oh, Ooh. God. oh no. Yeah. He's, he's, he is, he is like, yeah, he's going for a, he's going for a bite. Hell yes! Uh, so, <laughs> it, it, it's a... Uh, roll, please. Yeah, so... <laughs> that is a natural 20. To I mean, hit. that obviously hits. <laughs> um, so roll damage. You have you. I think D and D should automatically double the dice for you. So just yeah. roll the damage, and it will do it for you. That does. That's uh, one plus one plus three. So that's five. Five points of damage. Not that much damage. It's not, but it's exactly what you needed. Um, just describe to me how you kill this oh. guy. Oh god. Um, Chad. Chad is like. Now he's not like is this isn't like vampire frenzy of like oh I haven't fed in ages like Chad doesn't need to feed he's not like feeling the thing this is a Chad is biting out of out right. of anger here and out of just like just like uh, yeah there's there's an element of fear because he he knows what the messes mean and stuff and he is gonna do a he's he's he's, he's pulling the mask off as he goes into the goes into the neck. And it's probably it's probably gonna pull some of the throat out with him as he pulls away. Um, it's it's not it's not nice. And anyone who would see this would recognise this as not necessarily a normal human bite. <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyone who would see this? It's the street, this, by the way, because you're on the street Christina. now, right? Or... Yeah. Uh, no, so it's, I'm still in the room. Haven't okay, actually yeah, pushed yeah, out yeah. the haven't gone out the window yet. So, but only by the fact that you haven't gone out on the street yet. Uh, there's no one here to see it, apart from the guy whose you know life is rapidly depleting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can um, cook him a little bit. So you said that was know. exactly what I needed to do. So yeah, he had five he... HP left. He's, he's dead. Cool, excellent. Um, in that case, I'm not gonna hmm. throw him out the window with me. I am going to. He's gonna burn up in this room anyway. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm taking the gas mask and putting yep. the gas mask on. Ooh. I've still got my movement and I've got an extra attack as well. Yep. Uh, so I think Chad is going to have a look out. Of the, can I see anything out of the window from where I am beyond? Yes, yeah, so if you kind of step over there. him a little bit, if you go to the window. Yeah, I just sort of push him aside. Yeah, yeah. So Move yourself along a bit and see what you see. Oh, oh, that's clever. Yeah, um, you would see at that angle. Um, so you see in the street a bit. Uh, funnily enough, you don't see Christina, who's a little bit further down actually. Mm. But you do see there's a guy on the rooftop holding a gun into the street. And as, as you as you step out, he does sort of turn the gun towards you. Excellent. Right, he's getting a uh, <laughs> he's getting some kind of crossbow happening in his in his face. Um, <laughs> Oh, hang on. The guy the guy who I've just killed, what weapon did he have on him? Uh, he had a club, like a truncheon. He had a truncheon. And, and I... he had a crossbow as well on his back. Uh, no, he had a rifle on his back, sorry. A rifle. That is also... Okay, right, that's fine. This has to be an attack. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to do that. Um, Chad is going to just go for a crossbow shot on the yep. guy on the roof. Cool. Roll a hit. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, just double check. That will hit. Uh, so even this guy, he's kind of like ducking into part of the roof. He actually has a bit of cover from some of the other parts of the roof. Um, it's not enough, however. You do kind of get him in the shoulder. Um, so what's the damage? That's only three points of damage. Three points of damage. That's fine. Still a good hit. You just have to kind of... Like, oh! Yeah. Coming from the rooftop. And the guy Chad. tries to pull lower, realizing he's clearly not covered enough at this point. Yeah, he get 
He get disadvantage on shots now. His arms all messed up. Mm. Uh, uh, um, only because it's three points of damage. Okay. Let's take the arm clean off next time. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Keep can working Chad on it, maybe. Can, can Chad call out that there's a uh, that, that there's there's a guy on the roof just yeah, in case absolutely. there's anyone in the round. He's uh, on the roof. Yeah, yeah, oh, go oh. on the roof or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I am going to Chad is going to go back to the door across thing. Yeah, so that's what. So five, ten, fifteen. So that's fifteen movement. Yeah. Uh, is this door closed that I came um, through? It probably would be slightly. Like, it would have probably swung closed as you run in, but you can basically push it back over it again. Okay. So if you uh, just basically like... move through it, it'll go. This oh, is no. very clever. This is a very I clever. Love the shadow yeah, this is yeah. this is great. So it's a like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There's a messer agent there. You see two messer agents. So you see one who's actually. You see a bunch Ooh. of like vines and brambles on the floor mm. have an, and a completely encased one of these guys. And you see another guy in the middle of the room who's been like walking along with a truncheon, making his way across his room. <laughs> yeah. You see the text of another one, but um, that's not. Um, <laughs> Chad is going to take brief cover on. Is this a staircase going up? Yes. Next to me. Chad's going to take brief cover there. Yeah. And going to use uh, Sonic Power of Recovery. Yeah. Um, just to see what I can. No, wait. Was it Sonic Regain. Yes. Good. Good. Did that just do that to... automatically? What does, it... what does the ability actually do? Gives me back a uh, an expended psionic energy die. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it might not do that automatically. You might have to just tick it. But cool. That's cool. Yep, done. Yeah. Yeah, feeling this renewed vigor from a, a draining the life from someone. Um, you, uh, yeah, restore some of your sun here powers. Uh, that gas mask, by the way. So obviously you have it now. Like, it, you probably, like, with the guy being uh, dead, uh, easy enough to remove. But you wouldn't have enough time yet to put it on. That no, was And yeah. because of that... I need you to make me a saving throw. As oh, you are now in a room that is filled smoke. with smoke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fair with me. Well, I remember which one it is. Da, 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 da. A constitution saving throw, please. I've got plus seven to this, so fingers crossed. Twelve? Twelve. <laughs> Not a high roll, but you are right for the moment. Uh, this room is starting to fill with smoke, and especially as you're moving up the stairs. In fact, you're actually moving slightly higher towards the smoke. Oh. Um, but you're taking like you took a few deep breaths and you're like okay and you're, you're not um succumbing to this smoke inhalation yet yeah cool, cool. thank you all right and your turn uh ba -ba -ba -ba. brask it is now you yeah boy nice uh okay um, yeah. okay so what what of what's just gone on am i aware because i was in a hallway that whole time really so tali yes. went past tali went past Apple. Shout into the room. You heard some yeah. mumbling sounds from Pebble in the room. Yeah. Did I hear uh, Chad yelling about a shooter? Yeah, you had heard a shooter on the roof from downstairs. Uh... Do we know the building's on fire? Just quick. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think Brass, Brass does. does. I'm not sure Tali does, nor Pebble. Okay, fine. The rooms you've been into haven't are on fire. Because yeah, I threw the the vines through the gap in the floor yeah. in the previous room. Yeah, so you saw um, it. Uh, uh, I think before Brass does anything, um, with with Tali next to him, he's just gonna he's gonna be like visibly torn about what to do because he's pulled in both directions, uh, and, and he's he's gonna be like, what? what? He's just gonna look at Tali because she's like been one of the the calm person, rational person, <laughs> most of the time when Brask has not been, and he's just going to ask her, "Who do I help?" Wait, do, does someone else need him? Well, do you know where the others are? Oh, I think I think fire. Uh, fire. And Brask is like. The, the the more the longer he's like okay. not taking action, the more the more like <laughs> he's out, yes, but yeah. he's also like he's he's getting angry at himself because every second is a second yeah. that somebody might be getting hurt. Mm. He's not helping. Look, 
Uh, get, get, get Pebble, and we'll move as a group, and we'll find the others. Okay. So, as soon as you say get Pebble, I will... Uh, yeah, Brask will immediately move into that room then. I can remember which room that is. <laughs> the one to the bottom. The one to the bottom, yeah. 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 There yeah. he is, okay. Um, so I'm make, make sure he's go. okay, yeah. Yeah, so Brask will go in and just sort of assess the state that Pebble is in. Uh, and basically as you walk into the room, you do watch as whatever stupor is over Pebble does seem to fade and Pebble, you start to come Ooh. back to your senses. What's as technically that? your stun status ends at the end of the crow's turn so mm. you are back to your mm. senses as brask into the room um but he's gonna, like... Is, like heavily wounded as well like it was just, like yes almost... yeah you you watch as brass you see these massive like quickly uh oh. bruises all over his face and some of his body that have set in very quickly people can move though uh, like it's not it's, it's not just like uh, he doesn't need, you know, carrying or anything at the moment, I think. Yeah, he's still standing on his own feet, but yeah. he does look like... You're probably, like, winded a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Heavily breathing. Uh, can... Are there any potential exits Brass can see, other than back out the way he came? Uh, so the back out the way he came, yes. there is a door yeah. to your... What would be your right, so uh, west on the map. And then there is a window to the south. Yeah. Um, do I, I'm trying to remember the layout of the building. Do I know You've not building? really been into this. I've already park. explored. Yeah, <laughs> I mostly yeah. have slept downstairs in the park. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. I, I did try to make it. I, I did try to do something in D uh, twenty where you should be able to see the whole map, which is not the details. But I don't know why it's not worked. Let's see if we can get that one. But I like the shadow thing. Shadows are fine, yeah. but you're supposed, I, I did want to set it up so you could see the actual map. Oh, right, geometry a little bit. Like you, you, this isn't. It's not an unknown territory to you. Like you, you live in this part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, shadows, but not as pitch black uh, as they are. Anyway, um, but yeah, you in particular, Brask, haven't actually been in Bichar's room, so you don't know where. Uh, okay. Uh, Paul might help, bro. Um, first, like, yeah, yeah, there's a window right. Oh, do they? Well, that I might have helped. Hey. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, I can see. Oh, hello. There we go. That's what I wanted. Whole world of poss Okay, I mean, there's still options out the yeah. window or through the fire and the flames. So, yeah, uh, like I said, you guys do know the layout of the pub. It's just you don't know what's in each mm -hmm. individual visual yeah, room. Yeah, so, sure. um, the, yeah. I think, uh, Busk is. Pr but he's probably gonna like bust the window. Try and jump out holding Pebble. <laughs> Gonna oh, like sure. the diamonds lift okay. him. <laughs> okay. And, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there out the window? Is there like, is it just street, or is there is it like an alleyway with uh, something adjoining that might might be able to reach? So the, this window in particular leads directly to the front of the building. So it's kind of the more open street. Now, obviously, well, from there there are alleyways. <laughs> I mean, you're not really sure, though. They're, they're kind of seemingly surrounding the building a bit. But this is one of the directions they have come from, obviously. Um, but, but he's, one he's, second. He, uh, but Pebble can't react to this, so Pebble's not going to say anything. You, you can, you can, can. speak. Yeah, so, you, but you can the, speak. The crow, uh, the person who attacked me, yeah. went, I'm pretty sure it went out of the window. I would imagine it, um, they went out of the window. So maybe we Wait, are you more saw in them. Danger. Oh no, no they went out the window, right? No, no. You saw them walk back into the hallway. Ah, right, 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 right. Huh. What? Okay, so you, what? And you, you've just you've just told me that the guy who did this to you is somewhere in the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm okay. So, so, so window. <laughs> um, think instead then. Oscar's probably gonna head towards like Chad's room. Yeah. Um. I'm not jumping out the window. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think he, if 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 there's somebody in the building who's gonna hurt his friend still. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I understand. Pebble seems he's injured, but he's okay, just cool. enough. I think uh, Ask is gonna like turn around, sort of staring in the doorway over Tali. Now he's like clear of clear of thought, and he's just gonna be like, "Get him out!" And he's gonna march. Yeah, okay. towards, oh, I'm uh, only, I'm only you. Yeah. 
however far he can get. Ah, uh, think about this. Hold on. There's a certain amount of distance. Away also, I like if Brass came from the left into the hallway, and the crow didn't pass Tali. So the Brass crow didn't. Passed... Brass didn't oh. come from the left. The Brass, Brass, yeah, you got to find him. Brass came from the right because Brass jumped up into Pebbles' room. Uh, and here's the yeah. thing: you, yep. Tali, were in the loft when the yes, crow yes, yes. exited the hallway, yes. which is why yes. you can't. You didn't see yes. where she went. Yep. True, true. Yes. Uh, Brass, yeah, so you've gotten as far as you can if you're in your regular movement. You can use an action to dash, which then gives you an extra 30 feet of movement. Because you haven't done anything else with your action so far. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that and go to like uh, the area between the two doorways. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I don't. I can't uh, see yeah. Brass. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to see Brass on the map. That's because he's outside your vision now. But he didn't move through my vision at all. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. You should be able to see him, but that. I also can't a... see Pebble. That might be a weird roll twenty bug. Maybe reload. Uh, okay. Oh, because you're not in the room. So oh. technically, the way the it's set up, there's a barrier mm. where the doors are. Yeah. yeah, that was the same for me. If I do this, yeah, I you should be able to see Pebble. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. I thought Brass could have moved through whatever it is. It did, but I think it may, it may work quickly enough that you didn't see That's it. That's fine. But technically, you're there. Roll twenty, guys. It's fun. Um, mm. They're implementing a feature soon, or have done, that allows to actually have doors like be able to toggle. So not, it's not uh, it's not just a wall like it is currently. Yeah, yeah. It's something that can be open and closed, cool. and that will be a lot of helpful. Because um, the other thing you can do, you can set up to be a wall which you can then delete, and it gets complicated. Mm. Um, so I'm hoping that there's a better door feature at some point. Cool. Uh, so you get there, brass. That's fine. Um, any bonus actions you'd like to take? Um, I don't think there's really anything useful that I have, other no, than it's fine. <laughs> if I chose to randomly attack in a direction, but that's fine. Um, that. What I will say, uh, just because, Brass, you have a keen sense of smell, um, you smell a strong stench of burning oil coming from Chad's room. Also burning vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so, Delicious! Yeah. Oh, like a sauté. Leaks around kind of fire! Yeah. Um, so yes, so you smell like yeah, very well with some, with some rosemary here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah that's the end of your turn. Gone straight in front of the door there. Brass, the well, uh, so pebble. It's your turn. Uh, Tally, uh, everything good up there? You, did you see anything? But uh, the pebble is just like a little in shock. Like uh, what? Uh, well, there's a window, right? We need to. The, if the building's on fire, we need to get help. We need to shout out the window. Well, I mean, Pebble doesn't know this, so yeah. <laughs> Pebble's gonna. Cause I, I guess there's no, there's no like, there's no fire service, right? Like the way it'd work is that the like, town would be like, oh shit, there's a fire, let's go and help the fire. Um, that probably, is, I imagine it probably be handled by the watch, the city watch or something. Oh. It, but is there like an established way? Like, what's the way of contacting the city watch in the event of a fire? <laughs> Shouting the words, help fire. Signal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so Pebble's gonna. Slowly and you know, nicely creep like peep out of the window to see if danger awaits out of the window. What what does Pebble see there? Are uh, you gonna look out the window? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so move up to the window. Yeah. Uh, roll me a perception check. All right. Perception. I love the different. Um... Fourteen. Yeah, go the different away. paces each of these turns is having. I know, right? It's, 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 it's really just like with, with where, like, what all the pair, like, Chad is in full on, like, frenzy mode. And it's and, 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 and like, go look at the window. Yeah. <laughs> I shout for some help. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, looking out the window, Pebble, you don't see too much. Um, you see a street in front of you where the, the main thoroughfare leads to the entrance of the pub, but the streets are pretty empty. Um, you hear noises, you hear the sounds of burning and crackling wood somewhere around you, um, but looking out the front window, you don't see anything. Um, Pebble, I think, I think Pebble realizes it's safer outside than inside, like quite quickly, but does Pebble know, how much does Pebble know about uh, where Chad and Christina are currently? They might be, you know. Burnt. You have no idea. Yeah. The last time you saw them was right. Christina was going to her room, and Chad stayed downstairs. 
We did just hear Chad shout from downstairs. There's someone on the roof. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so you're pretty no, sure Chad is still downstairs. That's cool. But, um, Pablo is conflicted because I don't know. Maybe he could save someone. Well, all right. Pebble shouts fire, like at the top of his lungs, like fire, help, fire, fire. Yeah, help. yeah that's fine. Uh, roll me. I no, you've already done to that. So you just shout that out the window. That's fine. Yeah. Um, um, I've also I... just looked it up to see when when fire departments became a thing. Um, so they initially started from well, there's, well, there's versions apparently in ancient Rome where there were some, but more modern versions of it were created by building insurance companies after the Great Fire of London. So yeah, they're I'm not... Oh. It's going to be, yeah. It's not a nationalised service, so... We'll, uh, don't know. You don't know if the, 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 the Five Fellows has fire insurance or not. <laughs> the Five Fellows. Okay. Wait, there, uh, like, do we know? Does people know if that was successful in any way? Because, I mean, certainly, uh, like, Tali... I, I will use my hero token if I have to to get this pub sure. to not burn down. <laughs> you have no idea. Like... Pebble shout out in the street, but Pebble couldn't see any people. So you, Pebble yeah. doesn't know if anyone has heard it. Okay. Um, I, I communicate this to Tyler. It's like, I can't see anyone. I'm just... Yeah. Okay. And I think that's as much as I can do, right? Yeah, okay. Can you move and... back? Uh, yes, yeah, you can please. move a little bit. You didn't move too far, so hey, you still have, like... Because you went from there to there. Oh, oh yeah, uh, sorry, I'm just... I've, I've you went from there to there. Right. You've moved right. 10 foot, so you can go another 20 foot somewhere. I go towards Tali. Like yep. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And just then. Um, it is now the messes. Turns. Um, we're going to start with number one. Um, actually, quickly. Ryan, can you look me up with your entangle spell? If they make a second throw at the beginning or end of their turn. Uh, yes, I can look that While that's happening, me. I will move on to someone else. Uh, so, number two is going to make its way... Yep. Yeah. Uh, you watch as number two rushes across the pub, seeing you, Chad. Mm -hmm. um, you hear shouting out, I've got eyes on priority target one! And just pulls this truncheon out and comes up to you and is just going to try and hit you with it. A truncheon? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Good luck to him. Um, go it's, for a, it. it's a strength check as an action. Oh, it takes an action. Okay, cool. Um, so this guy gets an 18 hit first, Chad. Oh, God. How dare he? Yeah, that hits. Good luck to him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't give him luck. Um, that is a seven points of damage. Cool. Um, I would like to expend my reaction to uh, reduce that by 1d8 plus 1. Yep, that's fine. Oh, um, that's cool. Let's do 1d8 mm -hmm. plus 1. Roll that to everyone. That isn't... So that's 3. Uh, so that obviously becomes uh, 7 minus 3. 4 points of damage. 4 points of damage. Then he's going to try and hit you again, chat. Oh. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. That that Ooh. does hit. Aha, good luck to you, sir. Ow, ow, stop hitting me. <laughs> uh, that's six points of damage. Now, can I do that? No, I could I could reduce that again. No, by the way, uh, how much is that? Well, does it six take your, does it take your reaction to reduce the damage? <laughs> it does take my reaction. I only so get you, one reaction. One nine. reaction per yeah. turn. Yeah. How many points of damage was that? Uh, six. Go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> number one is going to uh, try and uh, break, make strength check to get break out of your thing. <laughs> he's going nowhere. He rolled a four, um, so he's still struggling against the oh. vines. Uh, you, not that anyone really has eyes on him right now, yeah. but I just want everyone to know that he's looking very nervous about the vines and the growing fire. Oh yeah, it's about to creep onto the vines that he's trapped in. Uh, that's what he does. <laughs> Uh, three is gone. Uh, at the bottom of the pub, Ooh, uh, jumping into view of one of the windows, mm -hmm. Chad, you see as this guy hits you truncheon, you see peering at the suddenly at the window, like rolling around the corner, holding a rifle and pointing at you, is another messer agent. How dare he? Good luck. He's yeah. gonna try and shoot past his mate. Yes, at you. What? <laughs> How dare he? 
And because these guys have a thing called pack tactics, when they have an ally within five feet of each other, uh, he has advantage in this attack. Lovely. An ally of... So he's got another ally right next to him? We no, as in the ally is next to you. Oh god, how dare he? If, an, if one of his allies is near the target... Oh... Um, yeah. That's a 14 hit, which I don't think actually does hit That you, does not hit. No. no. So you watch this guy, it is awkward, like, you are on the stairs and this guy is there. He takes a shot and it just goes over your shoulder into the back wall. Yeah. And then, Chad, you watch this guy just rolls back around the corner, out of view. <gasps> Sneaky. Ooh. These guys, these guys think they're, they, they think they're all that, don't they? Hmm. These guys stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Close. Bring back the rats, that's what I say. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the end of their turn at that point. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, back to the top of the round. Athalia, it is you. Okay. Uh, it's Pebble Shattered Fire, but we don't know if that's going to help. And it wasn't actually an action, was it? So it wasn't. No. Like, he didn't roll. He could use his action to use the perception oh. check, which is why. Um, oh, but also, he's not, he's not out of the room, is he? Nope. I don't really want to just leave him. But what? Why? why I mean, Pebble is we... capable of moving. He's not like yeah. he's yeah. at risk of falling over. Like, and he he came back over to you as if he's got. You know, I imagine maybe follow. This is fair. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes. How injured does Pebble look? Uh, badly. Bloodied. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no immediate threat because I, <laughs> I'm, I'm. Tali is obsessed. With the pub is this pub can't burn down. Okay, this is a home. Um. So I think actually what I'm gonna do is, if I can, I actually don't. Hang on, let me check how far it is. Uh, I can get to the window like where Brask is in thirty feet, right? If I would, uh, unless I can't. The window past Brask. Yes. Uh, you can go diagonally around that corner. I'll say that. Uh, so yeah, Tali will say to Pebble, let him know where, where, where she's going. Um, is there anything? Can I see anything outside of this? I don't want to make a perception check, but do I see anything outside? So this one in particular is interesting because they're basically there's a flat roof, which is the kitchen. That this yes. you could really, if there wasn't a window here, you could essentially walk out of this directly onto a flat roof, which is the window, uh, which is the kitchen. And then it leads into like proper back alleys, like there's things like bins back here, probably some other buildings down the way. Um, I mean, yeah, I kind of want to use my hero so I can dish out. Okay. Um, I can fluff it in that. I can use thaumaturgy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, to like proper really carry. We, we don't know. We don't know if it worked, and yeah, I mean, there's no harm, I guess, in mm -hmm. doing it twice. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so what are, what are you specifically shouting? Uh, fire. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, like, no, no, fire. Like, fire, fire, fire we, we need help. We can't put it out. I'm going to say you probably also uh, say the Five Fellows pub. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you fire, do the judge, your voice is going to carry very far. That's, that's fair. I mean, I mean, I'm not necessarily... Because, I mean, this is my action, to be fair. But then if I use Formal Surgery, I can't use a spell for a bonus action. Which is probably fine. Uh, I mean, yeah. you can if you've got bonus action spells. Formal Turgy is a cantrip, so you still can cast a spell as a bonus action. Well, you can't use two spells on your turn, right? You can't use two spell slots. Oh, on your turn. okay. Let's just, yeah, just then. Yes. Fire, if I fill a pub, can't put it out. We need help. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, everyone, all of you, hear Tali's voice just booming as if it was like through a megaphone. Just shout this out, and you almost hear like. You aren't exactly in the echoey place, but you do hear her voice just echo outwards across the streets. Um, Chad, even when you can see the messes, you see them like looking around, kind of very confused. I'm everywhere, bitches. Uh, yes. Good. We do that. That's my action. Hero token. Done. Yeah. <clears throat> then, I guess, I mean, 
Brask, we, it might be better if we if we left the pub and, and then tried to come back in from the outside to get the others. We won't be at, at risk ourselves. Uh, Esther here! Yeah, who? Uh, one who did this to Pebble. Yes, but if, we, if we're outside, we can get in. We have more options. We're just kind of we're we're we're, we're fighting this on their terms right now, Brask. Mm -hmm. If we left and came back in, re-entered, you know, we could fight more on our terms. We don't know how many people are here. We we don't know, you know, anything. And fire. Oh, fire. There will be smoke. If we go into a room that has smoke, we might breathe it in. There is oil near us. Does oil explode? Hmm. Um, I don't want to find out. <laughs> no, it would explode if it was contained in like a container, yeah, okay. which is probably how this started. But uh, now it's just spread around. It just burn. It it is. The side fellows is not an airtight container either, so <laughs> that's fine. All part of Brask is like we use the oil. <laughs> Weaponize it. Oh, I understand. Attempting. Um. If we get people out, like there's a window, then there's a ledge. You know, there's there's the top of a roof. We could get down without hurting ourselves, and then get the others out. And when everybody's safe, then we can deal with with the, whoever these people are. Safe. Then we yeah. kill. Uh, sure. I mean, I'd, I'd like to try not to kill them if possible, but... Yeah. <laughs> we save, and then we kill. Okay, look, it, it, we might also want to try to find out why they're here. What do they want with us? You know, if we kill them all, we don't find that information out with them. We, don't we save, and we oh kill all but one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Brusk. That's one. Perfect. Yes. Get. Let's get out. Get everybody safe. <laughs> Brusk will like hold out a giant claw. Like, Deal. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. We shake. We shake. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Holy. Mm, morals. Uh... <laughs> I mean, they are trying to kill us. Yeah, she, yeah, sure. she doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't yeah, want to kill people. But also, if it's if it's us or them, it's them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Except one of them. <laughs> in question. Yes. Indeed. Um. <laughs> Fine. I'll I'll climb out, and if you wait, you know you can get Pebble out. Um, can I climb out? Is that an action? The window. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's a, it's a closed window, so it's an action to either open it or smash it. Uh, is it a free action to open it? It's probably not the kind of window that has a handle. It probably is just a glass pane. So it probably yes, an action to smash it. Okay, then I guess I can't do that. So I don't. I guess I. Unless I, when you yelled yeah. fire, it was so loud that the. the, the <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, I was Actually, thinking, that's a fair point. To, no, that's a fair it. point. Mm -hmm. for, yes, the best. That's well, a fair point. Well, the windows have to open. Like they, like they can't just not. Yeah, like, right? right. I mean, we we have several windows on our house that doesn't open. Um, <laughs> but no. Uh, <laughs> fair point though. You you obviously the intention was to catch out, and I obviously yeah. it means you had to open. So yes, you had, you you've opened it. This one window can open. I'll take it. This is the only one. <laughs> can I tentatively that... like step out? Yes. I mean, I've used all my movement actually, haven't I? So maybe oh. I can't. Uh, if you use your movement, then you can out. You can fall out. I guess I just <laughs> stay here. Okay. Yeah. End of your turn. Uh, the fire spreads, which I've been doing while you've been hey, having your conversation. Hey, hey. So, oh, yeah. let's have a little look for uh, it. Right. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Yeah, if you look where it's sort of where Chad is, there's a lot of fire downstairs. Um, ah, don't like that. I will say it's happening off screen, but um, uh, all of the vines have all set fire, have all caught on smoke nice. now. Uh, and the guy who is trapped within it is burning alive. Oh, <laughs> yes! That's exactly what I hoped would happen. Uh, yeah. There is just some screams of agony from somewhere oh, in the pub no. <laughs> as this guy's burning. Um, not dead yet, though, but burning. Well, cool. Yet. Anyway, um, it's now the crow's turn. And we don't know where it is. No, but someone's about to find out. 
Uh, Chad, you hear steps on the stairs behind you, oh. as walking down oh, behind damn. you is this figure, this leather-clad figure, this big leather hood, the bird mask like a plague doctor, and again, with those just copper wires just running through their body. And then they just a look worthy, at you and they, A worthy opponent! <laughs> just looks at you and goes, This shouldn't take long. And just steps down to step between you and just basically starts laying into you. Uh, I want Chad to die, but also I kind of want Chad to have his ego bruised a little yeah. bit by this battle. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, yeah, a few times here. Um, What have we got? Why am I class is 18, if that helps? Uh, the first attack is an 18. <laughs> Okay. So as you kind of like ducking from a bullet shot of being beaten by a truncheon, you just hit this fist, this palm hitting the back, and you feel electricity just run through the entirety oh, of your pain. armor. I hate that thing. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> and then actually yeah, there's like a sonic boom where you just feel this kind of like, almost like a punch, just boom, just get knocked forward slightly uh, as you take 11 points of thunder damage. I'm definitely going to use my reaction to reduce that. Yes, please. Thank you. Hasn't been your turn yet. Ah. So you haven't got a reaction back. Oh, crime me. Okay, yeah, no, thank you. 11 points of damage. Yep. <laughs> Still fine. Oh, crime, yeah. uh, and I'd like you to make, the, <laughs> make me a strength saving throw, please. A strength saving throw? Yes, please. Da -da -da. Chad is strong. Chad is very strong. That is a 15. Oh, you just succeeded. So this, as this blow kind of hits through you, you kind of jump forward and you almost lose grip of your shield. Ooh. And you feel it kind of slip out your grasp, but you manage to hold on to it. Nice. Um, she's going to come for a second hit and it goes a low blow this time. Uh, that's an 80 to hit again. Uh, oh, yeah. This time it's going to go for, uh, well, damage. Yeah. That is a nine to hit, uh, nine points of damage. Still thunder damage. And this time you feel a blow towards your leg as you hit this kind of small shock wave. Um, and then you make a dexterity saving throw. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I fail. That's a six. six. So as this blow hits your leg, this shock wave just completely blows through your knee, and you just stumble and you are not prone. Cool. Uh, okay. Okay. And then they go for a third attack. No! Oh. This time with advantage because you're pro. Oh. Uh, though surprisingly the worst of the whole lot, after 15 to hit. So you go Yay. falling into your back and you watch as they go to go like almost like hammer down on you, but this time you pull your shield in front of you and they were just like, like in Avengers when Thor's hammer hits. There's yeah. just a boom! You hear, everyone hears this reverberation throughout the entire park nice. as just this shockwave goes through everything. Uh, Chad is going to, is, is looking up at this guy as he, as he does that, and he's gonna, yeah. he's, he's obviously, mouth is covered in covered in blood, he's yeah. gonna smile at him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Amazing. This just em emotionless bird's mask just sort of mm. cocks his head looking at you curiously. Like Oh, that's so unsettling. Did you just show it that you're a vampire? Maybe. I mean, you've seen action films. The hero always has the bloody mouth and the fire, don't they? Like, yeah, yeah. What? What action anyway. films do you? No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> at the end of the turn, Christina, it's up your turn. You're still oh. outside. You're pinned against this building. Oh my Christ, the pub's on fire! What am I to do? <laughs> <laughs> we've, oh. we've just joined an episode of EastEnders there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! Oh, oh my, my days! Oh dear, kill. it's not good, is it? Um, oh, this is like... <laughs> so a lot of things have happened, obviously. Yeah. Um, there's like fire, fire, and a bong-like sound. <laughs> fire, fire, bong. Yep. He is not going to go back into the pub because that's idea. not sensible. But I would like to do a history check to see if I can remember if there are any sources of water nearby. Oh, I like that. Yes, want me history check? Also, I've got like plus seven on this, so good. Oh, twenty six. Wow. Twenty six. Um, yes, there definitely will be one nearby. Uh, let me have a little think. Da -da -da -da. 
Uh, so your immediate thought goes like, am I near the river? And you kind of like, no, I'm not near the river, too far away. And you kind of start thinking about the roads you're kind of walking around. And like the part of the city you're in is essentially, it was an old town that kind of grew into a city. And so there would be things like city wells and stuff. And you do remember like, almost like just a few alleyways away, there is a well nearby you could well, probably well, run well. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I guess I've got like, half my movement as I'm injured. Oh, no, thing? no, you're you're now standing up. You're fully. Well, you can run as far as you need to. So you can run and use your action to basically dart off to go find some water. Yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. that. And can yeah. I scream fire, fire, yeah. help, fire? On my yeah, way. you start. So you basically start running down the street to do that. Um, so I won't move you on the map because you're basically gonna go off the map. But however, as you start running away from the building, that that shooter on the roof was holding his action for when you when you came visible and was gonna take a shot against you. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, dang. oh yeah, and more. Uh... You just instructed him to fire. <laughs> that is a natural one. Um, and so as you're running, you hear a, <laughs> but nothing happens, as this gun, this guy's gun has backfired on him, <laughs> and there was just a loud explosion. You just hear some cursing, and just like, God, God damn it! <laughs> Great. Amazing. As his gun is <laughs> malfunctioned. Um, so cool. Great. That's fine. Uh, so yes, Christian, you run off the map. So I will temporarily remove you from. Bye, play. Christina. <laughs> uh, that's in your turn. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Who's next? We have Chad Renefius. Oh, Chad Renefius. Chad Renefius. You are laying on the floor. Uh, you are you you're bloodied. Not your blood yep. though. Uh, and you are surrounded by yeah a messer agent this figure yeah, not that you know it but the mm. crow and then you know there is now a shooter at the window nearby although he's yeah. that person has ducked back around the corner so my understanding of being prone is me getting up sacrifices half of my Correct. movement does that as far as i I can't really see a disadvantage to me doing that because I can't move 15 feet anyway so yeah so if you Wait, so when you're prone, stand up, you use half a movement. If you were to say, if you were a different scenario, but if you were to crawl, for example, it uses double movement anyway. So your mm -hmm. movement actually is the same. And if you stay on the floor, enemies have advantage of melee attacks against you, and you have disadvantage of melee attacks. Yeah. However, while you're prone, enemies have disadvantage of ranged attacks against you. But that doesn't really help you much in this situation. That doesn't help me much at all. Really, no, so, so there isn't a other than being uh, more more likely to get shot. There isn't a disadvantage. Like, me standing up, like the the act of yeah. me sitting standing up while there are two guys within melee range, of me no. isn't gonna do anything. No, so it doesn't like doesn't trigger like an opportunity attack or anything like that. No. You, you are able to do that. Okay, well I'm, I'd like to stand up, please. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that'll be that'll like be you shield nice. on the floor, stand up, pull yourself to your feet. Yeah, it's still very awkward because like this is a it's not a flat area. You're on a staircase. Yeah, I'm, like, on, I'm on a staircase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Now, of all the people who are potentially who could be in this exact scenario right now, uh, Chad is probably the best positioned to be in this position. Um, <laughs> so Chad is going to do an attack on the crow yep. first. Um, just a straight up. Let's do a let's do a heckin sword. A little probing okay. shot. See what what's going on here. Oh, for yep. goodness' sake! That's you yeah, roll to hit the sword. Is, uh, yeah, I'm imagining like, his armor class is higher than nine. Yes, oh. absolutely. So you roll to hit with this, and you watch as uh, the sword goes down, and you watch as they just desperately just grab it and push it to the side, like hitting your blade into the wall. I... How dare they? Um, hang on, let me just check something. I can use your master shove if i'm even if i'm not successful in my attack yep you just have to make attack so yes okay so i've made an attack can i choose so technically you still need to make if you're going to make a second attack you need, I need to, do to make that a second first. attack you need to do that first um the chad chad is uh chad's not that worried about the messer agent with the with the truncheon like that's fair he's yeah. just some guy i've already ripped yeah. one of their throats out this yeah, is yeah, yeah yeah so let's go for another. Let's go for another attack on the uh, on this on the the crowman, the crowman. 
That's a 21 to hit. <laughs> that will hit. Well damage. That will definitely hit. Um, I am also going to add my psionic strike to my damage on that. So let's roll for damage first. Um, oh, the eight plus five. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, so is that six? Six points of damage. Uh, plus two. So that's eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Um, and I would like to um, do a shield master shove on him. Yeah. So, yeah, so you watch as the, she pushes the blade to the side, but then you basically kind of almost like push it back and you cut through part of her hand. There's just some blood that obviously spills from underneath this leather arm that you've cut through. And while they're kind of reeling from that, you go in with the shield. So uh, make an athletics check. It is. They so need acrobatics to try and resist this. Athletics. So they got a 15. I also got a 15. Um, so usually how this works is defender wins, so unfortunately it doesn't pay out your favour. So although they're on the backhand, like reeling from this blow you've done the hand, you go with the, sh the, the shield, and you watch as actually just, they just drop down, really yeah. speedily just drop down, your shield just goes over their head, and they come back up again. Interesting, interesting. Um, cool, Chad's gonna... do nothing that's fair um, as you as you see stand there like you just hear a fem feminine voice go is that the best you can do chad <laughs> uh, clip. But I, assume, I, assume you were I think, oh, oh. think ty is gonna get on with this nice person <laughs> <laughs> anyway um that's in your turn i assume wait did she say chad or the she team? did say chad oh 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 mm. What? <laughs> I was going to explode down there, I think. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I've, immediately um, got, I've immediately got the most outlandish theory based just on that interaction. Great. That's fun. Keep it yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> more fun that way. Uh, Brask, your turn. Oh, uh, my bad. <clears throat> You're muted, Ryan. I'm muted. Muted. Oh, muted. what whimsy. Uh, so we agreed to do a big old jump out the window, didn't we? Um, I think what you you and Tali yeah, were saying. Yeah. Saying yes, yes. yes. So Tali opened the window. window. We look. Did we look around? And we didn't really see much out we there. We didn't look. Not really look around. No. So a, a brief glance anything? shows that there is like a flat roof to the kitchen, which you basically can just walk out into. Uh, but there was no um, real scanning of the environment beyond that. The shooter was. He's at the front, isn't he? I'm there so is a shooter at the front, but you don't know about any, any others. <laughs> but maybe not the shooter. Very carefully said that. I like it. Uh, in that case, uh, Brask will just step out onto the onto the yep. roof. Okay, so you basically yeah go past. move two places north, and you push past Tali onto the roof. This, uh, one second. You basically see you're now out in the streets, essentially. So you're on top of this flat roof, which is the kitchen. Uh, and you can see the tops of buildings. You can see the streets beneath you. Uh, again, this is like a back alleyway. So there's like bins and skips and things like that. And then probably another building just over the way. Yeah. Is there... Is the... Uh, the ceiling of the... Or the roof of the kitchen? So yep. Just, a, just, ki just roof, right? There's no like... Yeah. It's a flat like that. roof. Yeah. Uh, not for the roof, no. Um, I guess. I say that, there probably would have to be a chimney, surely. Yeah, the somewhere. There'll be a Nothing chimney. Nothing brass could fit in. Nothing brass <laughs> could fit in, though. Um, uh, I guess brass school, uh, he'll sort of step out onto the edge of the, mm -hmm. the, the roof and sort of keep an eye out in all directions to yep. ensure safety. Or yep, I guess we'll to make himself a big target, I guess. And as you do move out to there, uh, and scanning the right environment, you do see on the building to the west of you, there is another messer agent with a gun. It's like, oh, hi. Oh, lordy. And they also were holding their action until they saw someone. So who's going to take mm -hmm. a shot at you? Mm -hmm. Come at me, bro. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, it's not a high roll. That's only a nine. That does not hit me. 
So you see, I think this guy wasn't expecting to see a dragon. So he sees yeah. movement, and then Ooh. sees a dragon goes, oh, and then just the gunshot just goes wide. Uh, you hear it fly overhead, like, Phew! and you hear a smash of a window somewhere in the distance. <laughs> so it clearly hits another building. <laughs> just like a just a cat going. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Poor uh, but I, but I see where I see where the shot came from, right? Yeah, you see the agent uh, on the building across the way. Yeah, so so brass will like gonna turn and sort of make eye contact with with this shooter and go like frankly as much as all hell is breaking loose brask is thrilled to have somebody he can hit <laughs> yes i love that this whole time he hasn't known what to do and now it's like oh bad clarity of purpose yeah we we said we'd kill all but one of them so the first one we can probably we can probably kill yeah uh, well <laughs> we can try so how <laughs> how far away is this so that's it, I can do this for you, hold on. Person. Get the old ruler tool out. They are 40 feet away from you. Hmm. A convenient distance. Incredibly good news. <laughs> um what we are gonna do is we are going to uh oh wait, searing that that's only on melee attacks, isn't it? Yeah, yes. we, we had this discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Brask will. Uh, he's going to just go for it with Dragonfang then, I guess. Yep. Yep. Uh, Roll a hit. Actually, where is he? Is he? Is he? Yes. Going to just go for it with Dragonfang. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a. Oh. Oh, wait. No, oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. 21. It's a 21. Thought will it hit. landed on 3. Yeah, the dice does that. <laughs> it was 16. The digital dice is a bit weird. Um, yes, it definitely hits. So, a roll damage. Uh, you can do clever things. You can also do clever things with your bees if you want to. Oh. Yeah, that, that was my that was my next thing. Uh, so yes, uh, that's eight points of damage on that. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to use gathered swarm. Which mm. one is? Poses mm. out of the root. Ba -da -ba. Once on each of your turns, call this one to assist you. Um, D6 of piercing damage. Uh, actually, wait, no. Are they on a, they, are they on a roof? Yep, on a roof. 50 feet away. Yep. So, feasibly, 15 feet in front of them is just a drop. Mm -hmm. The street. In that case, I'm going to use Gather Swarm to shove them forward 15 feet. Yeah. I was I was hoping you would come to that conclusion. Um, so they need to make a strength so saving throw. So much more interesting. Right, strength uh, saving throw? Yes, so strength saving throw. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is a six. I need a 12. Fail. I'm yes. <laughs> So, um, so you watch as the boomerang basically hits this guy and he sort of just stumbles a bit, not realizing the swarm of bees have snuck up behind him. <laughs> and it's not so much like. like Go on. Huh? In, in oh, my no. mind, they're sort of attached to the boomerang when I first throw it. Oh, no. Yeah. They go like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I imagine what happens is that as it kind of like homes in the guy, they detach and go around the back. And it's not so much as they push him, as so much as the bees that are land behind him and he just goes, ah! yeah. Yeah. and just jumps. Out oh into God. the street, and obviously plummets uh, to the street below. Um, roll me two d six. Uh, no, sorry, one d six. One d six. That's only two. Two points out. Okay. Um, so it's not a big fall damage, unfortunately, but he does go crashing into the street below and uh, hit the ground prone. He does a little assassin's creed into a like, yeah. hey, thing, um, yeah, or something. But the hay is and, like, and lands okay. there, so boof hits the ground. Yeah, he crashes into some, like sacks or something. Um, there's not a massive amount of damage, but he is prone on the floor on the ground beneath you. Um, and as a bonus action, can I add hail of thorns on top of that? Or is uh, that... well, first of all, um, you being level five as well, you can also do what Chad does, and it's just multi attacks. You can attack again. Yes. Um, when you take the attack action. Well. You get attack. You make a second attack. Um, I didn't think Rangers got multi attack, but they got two weapon fighting. No, they get multi attack. Because I don't. In that case, then. Yeah, I'll do. You're not level five. Oh, that's true. Then again. Uh, so you can roll a hit again with uh, Dragon Fang. The only thing is, now that this guy is prone, you'd have disadvantage in the attack. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, Brask's gonna go for it. So can I do? Can I? Can I go for another dragon fang then, and then hail of thorns on top of that if it hits? What does hail of thorns say? It's really all lucky. Uh, next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon before the spell ends, I'd have to cast it first then. I'll, well, so t yes, technically this is like you have to essentially preempt this before you make an attack. Um, however, I will let you do this just because you're still learning these spells, so it's fine. But technically, you're supposed to yeah. do this before you make the attack action. But okay. I'll allow it. Uh. I will cast it at uh, second level. Yeah, yep. let's go nuts. Um, yep. And pieces. Then Dragonfang again. Yeah. So we've just lost it though. Well, it was a natural one, so. Okay. <laughs> we don't need no disadvantage. So that's a miss. Um, the nice thing about Hail of Thorns, it sticks around until you do hit something. Cool. So you could you basically you prep it, and when you next hit something, it triggers. So you still have Hail of Thorns kind of floating around. Waiting for your when you next hit something, um, but yeah, you you throw the boomerang, and it's such a weird low angle; it just does not work. And this guy's like rolling around in some sacks now, and as he kind of moves, the boomerang just goes Poof, and just hits like a sack of potatoes. Oh. And then the moment later goes Poof, and spins back up to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch Dragonfang and just make it look like that that was intentional as a yeah, warning shot. Sure. Yeah, there's a potato still <laughs> stuck here. Like you take a bite of the potato. Yeah. <laughs> this potato is you. But because it, 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 but because it was a natural one, uh, you took a bite of one of the bees and it stung your palate. <laughs> I just I, I caught the potato and just bit the boomerang by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> just cut my own mouth like the joke. And Tali's just there like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Tali so didn't, see, didn't see the no context. You just saw boomerang throw, crash, boomerang throw, boomerang potato, bite boomerang. Stop anyway. snacking, Brask. That is the end of your turn, Brask. Pebble, it's your turn. Hey. Hello. I'm going to move a lot. Um, yes. So you move off into the hallway. Where are my tabs? My tabs? My tabs? Sorry. I'm moving. A little bit. All right. Um, how how much can I move? You move six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. And then, um, if you want to, you can obviously move a further. Oh. Uh, you can use an action to move a further six squares if you want, or obviously you can do something else with your action. Um. But I don't know what else to do other than. Other than keep moving, right? Because yeah, yeah. So I just move towards. But I mean, yeah. You I'm can't get any closer technically to Tali unless you want to move out into the roof. Sure, which yeah, is, yeah. So you can push past Tali. Yeah. So I. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Um, I let Tali move out like by, by being here. <laughs> um, yeah. I. I don't know. What, what can I do? Uh, well, I think you used your action to make the extra movement there, so you've now used your action. Oh, right. But you could, you still have a bit, because you get another 30 foot, so I wonder if you could have actually moved off, climbed down. Oh, okay. Ten, if you went left. Climbing or down or is that more, would, to climb down safely would be an action. Just jump off, so you could do that easily, but you'll take the full damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, Pebble is not going to climb, climb down. That's yeah. as much as Pebble's going to do. Uh, um, one, one second. Spells. Uh, <laughs> it's just Wait. an excuse is fine for spells. Oh, uh, no, no, because the action. So if you use yeah. your action, so you're, if you've got any bonus action spells, and some do mm -hmm. exist, you can obviously do those. No, but I don't have any. No, to be honest, no, it wouldn't make any sense to use anything now. So. Okay. I'm so very boring and be like that. I'm boring. <laughs> you're, you're trying to get out of a burning building, that's not boring. Oh. <laughs> We're get, making our exit. Priorities. Then... Yeah. Uh, also, okay. Been... Taking quite a lot of damage, so you know, yeah, it's, it's fair to conserve your energy. Cool. Right. So it's now the messes again. The agents. Uh, number one is going to desperately try and get out of the burning thorns. Um, well, actually, technically speaking, hell of uh, tangle was a concentration spell. So by casting hell of thorns, it's gone. So actually, the thorns have now burnt away from him. So no, he's freed no. of that. As far um, as it lasted, but he's still burning. Um, the messer. The messer. The messer's on fire. Yes. <laughs> we don't need no vines. Let the mother messer burn. 
Yeah, I think he's gonna retreat a bit. Uh, back out the door. That's smart. Sort of re regroup a little bit. Um, uh, where are we looking at now, or does it not? Uh, the first floor, the ground floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, cool. I love the music. Um, number two is gonna have a go at you, Chad. Really? Yeah, and guess what? He's got an ally within five feet, so he has advantage in these attacks. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that's, that's, that's completely Fantastic. unexpected, Adam. I had no idea that that was going to be... No, no, gonna... right. Uh, uh, that's a 20 to hit. Yep. I know, mess about. Chad's going to die, and I don't want him to... Oh, well, actually. <laughs> I'm going to take Chad alive. They said that very clearly. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, eight points of damage. Oh, dear. Boy. And then gets to make a second melee attack. Still advantage. Uh, that's 13 to hit. So that one doesn't hit. So, just a one hit from this guy. As yeah. he comes in with the truncheon, and kind of gets you when you're not expecting it. You then get your shield behind you and block the second blow. Like, you're doing very well to keep these two assailants on either side of the bay, but it's, it's wearing you down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what else am I going to do? Uh, number four is going to take, take another shot at you. Number four, the one that was on fire. No, no that no. was number one. Uh, the short uh, shooter out, the, out the window. 18 to hit, Chad. Oh, yeah, well, you I am 18. Backhand, yeah. backhand this guy with the shield, and as you drop the shield, there is a bullet that just it impacts into your like breastplate. And it doesn't yeah. add into the armor, but it is like a blow. A heavy blow across the chest. Yep. What's that um, damage wise? Damage wise, that is a two points of piercing damage. Oh, that's fine. So yeah, it's just kind of yeah. blah, like you get slightly winded as it's just like basically punched at the chest from a very pointed and sharp object. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't pierce really. Uh... Would the crows go before Chad? It was, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm saving. I'm saving my uh, my um, protective field for That's that. <laughs> That's probably going to be a slightly more difficult bit. Chad's not well, guys. By the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Four's going to move to the side and okay. duck out the window again. That is at the end of their turn. Back to the top of the round. Tali. Hey. Oh. Yes. Okay. Let's continue to get out. Let's uh, get so is it, is it, it's an action. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry, I just completely yeah, interrupted. Okay. That was really rude of me. Sorry. Fire oh, spreads dang. after Tali's turn. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's nice. Yeah. Um, Actually, that's is... it. Uh, thinking about it, um, as this is you know continuing to go on, is this a good time to take a break? Maybe have a little break. Hey, think about when your yeah. next moves are. Because um, okay otherwise, we might just keep going until you know, run out of session. So, <laughs> let's take a little break. Um, yeah. we'll do, let's try and do like a 10 minute break so we can get back to this. Yeah. Break, so... Give you all a chance to think about your turns. And get some snacks. we'll come back soon. Yeah, see you at, yes. uh, quarter, <gasps> quarter to four. Did I say that right? Yeah, cool. Bye. Adios. Bye. Oh. And we're back. Uh, I'm getting straight back into the action. So, Tali, you're on top of the kitchen while the building burns down around you. What are you doing? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess you move outside. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah. The there was a what do I see? Because there was a there was a guy, right? It's the guy. The guy's not there on my screen though. So no. So te technically, it's because he's fallen down off off out of your vision. So, but you wouldn't be able to see oh. him. If you basically if you move to the edge on the west side, you would see some enemies beneath you. Um, right. Let me just see. This is complicated because this is this is the only thing I don't like about. The double floor thing is that it's hard. Let me just do this quickly. Uh, next step, two next seconds. logical step for maps is that they they can be like rotated in three D. Like that would be like full on. It's more what I'd like to be able to do is like mirror tokens to be on like two levels at yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, we can see that. That's there, really there is a way um, to do that now, I think though. But yeah, I'll look into it if there's a way uh, to ben, do ben, it. Ben will say it then. Yeah. I didn't think he did that, but I'm wrong. Uh, okay, so this is. 
I doubled them up onto two layers now and let's see what you see. Oh, hold on. And then need to move them. <laughs> okay. Um Ooh. Yes, from where you are Tali, at the moment you can't see anything. But if you <laughs> adjust your position, you might just find some enemies. Okay. I mean, I'm still not I don't know if it yeah, I don't see anything, but okay, that's fine, I guess. That's fine. That's because you can't see them. Okay. They are positioned um, where they're positioned, so if you can't see them, you can't see them. Okay. Uh, that's fine. But you can hear noises, like you can hear the groans of someone who's obviously hit the floor. And actually, with your passive perception, you'd hear shufflings of multiple feet, as it seems like maybe some troops are repositioning. Ooh. Is there... like, if I look down... Yep. Oh, no, I see them. Yes. Um, uh, as I you look... move there, yeah. someone's going to take a shot at you. Oh, shit. Okay. Fine, yeah. As that's you basically fine. come that's in the fine. range, you that's pull fine. around the corner, and one guy just goes, TARGET! <laughs> and takes Wait. a shot at you. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Do I see the... A Except little... he says it in a French accent, unlike I did. <laughs> Do I TARGET! A... <laughs> a little bit of a number six. How many other... Oh, and that's seven. <laughs> Oh, oh, that God. is a natural one, however. Uh, this guy clearly is not ready. Like, he goes, pulls the gun up, he actually clips against the brick wall. And the cause of the gun, the malfunction, you just hear, target! Oh. <laughs> bah! And you right. hear an explosion as his they, gun malfunctions. They really have to invest more in their guns, <laughs> those people. Guns are a fairly new technology in this world. Ah, oh, right, yeah, true. Um, you think you're turn, Tali? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I was gonna ask, <laughs> is it is there a way to get down that looks like it is safe and has cover? But I assume no. Um, Not cover. Oh, well, technically, if you go down the north side of the building, you'd feel so like you might have cover. Which way is that from the map? North. Like, yeah, not right. like it came like lateral to north. Yeah. Uh, that's true. It would be an action, though, wouldn't it? Yes. Uh, uh no. well, so an action if you want to do it safely. If you're being daring, you can just jump. What's the actual mechanical difference between doing it safely or just jump? So an action, an action you'll do an acrobatic or athletics check, and if you roll yeah. high enough, you'll be fine. If you just jump, you'll take 1d6 of damage and you'll fall prone. Oh, okay, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Unless you have a way of, like, you know, flying or something. I mean, yes, but... Uh, <laughs> that's Casually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, let me have a little looky about things, stuff, and things. Um, yeah, let's do that. It is an action, though. But I guess that's fine. Uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Tali is going to. I don't really know. I don't really know what, what it looks like. Um, her, I guess her eyes go like that kind of. I don't know what we said what color, but like the the the, the silvery godling color, like the color they went when she did the the mm -hmm. identify curse spell. Um, as she kind of like holds her her holy symbol and and kind of says some words in in celestial, she would also then kind of like from her back you would see like these um sort of like ghostly, like, sparkly, like, purple wings, uh, sprout, um, and she does kind of start flying, like, just, just, just a little bit off the ground. Yes. So we do that as an action. Yep. Uh, I kind of, I guess, uh, yeah, so these are like spectral wings, and I was like, we, I think we described before, like, they're almost like they're made of like the same thing the Aura Borealis is made of. Oh, they okay. just kind of rainbow coloured and then fade right. at the edges, and your eyes turn silver and light starts like pouring out of them. That's the, uh, I guess. Okay. That's the most stylish, you know, drop yeah. ever. Like, yeah. like, I think only one seen this before is Pebble. You've seen this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rask, right with that. This is a new site for you as you watch as, yeah, Tali has these. Yeah. Or. Oh, Aura wings coming out of them, and silver they fly eyes. Now? <laughs> they fly now. <laughs> they fly now. Only, only sometimes. Um, it's not my action. Bonus action. Um, bonus action to cast spiritual weapon. Yep. It's not a concentration spell. It is not. That's fun. Let's do that. I'm gonna cast that. So, so I um, 
Yeah, I don't know what it would look like actually. Um, maybe just like my glaive again, but yeah, spooky, spooky looking. Like, spooky uh, version kind of glaive. Like, yeah, similar color to the to the wings, right? It's kind of aura borealis. Yeah. Like, oh, where would you like uh, to put it? Um, well, I can't use it this turn. Yes, you can. Can I actually? Because it's a bonus action on your turn, but it's also a bonus action to cast it. Yeah, if you read it, it's the first time it arrives, you get to attack with it. Um, yes, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, over there was, the, was those... Uh, those so what's the range? 60 feet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you so, just go yeah. over by number five, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use this token now. So. Go! Cool. Yeah, you drop down this spiritual glaive. Turns out it looks like it's made of the same sort of like aura that your wings are. Yeah. And uh, roll to hit. Yes. Uh, it is this thing. Ooh. Twenty-one to hit. That will definitely hit. <laughs> um, roll damage. Uh, yes. I will also use um. I can also make uh one of my spells do additional damage. So I will do that. But I'll pay with those. So it's um four it's four force damage, I think. Yep. Yeah, force damage. Um and then also uh an additional five radiant damage. Cool. And she kinda like floats and kinda like floats like off of the I guess like just off of the Yeah, like it's kind of yeah. Yeah. And 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 like kinda does that and she was like, you know, you should like you should you shouldn't have attacked our home. What she'll say. Yeah. You hear this echoing angelic voice brass echo out of Atali as, yeah, you should never have attacked our home but barrels down the street. And Tali, as you move in a position, you see there is uh, quite a few of them around the corner here. We're good. <laughs> I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have put myself in this position, but we're here now. Uh... Uh, brass is going to offer support like, what she said! <laughs> <laughs> Just going to make a quick roll for something. Oh, no. Uh, let's do it here. Ooh, natural one. Um, you watch as you start to float out of the building. Uh, you watch as number six points the rifle up towards you. Again? <laughs> just trembles and just brings the gun down. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm but, scary. A wise man. Um, cool. Anything else? Your turn, Tally. Boy, did he take? All the, did he do all the damage? To five? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. And the radiant damage. Yep. Okay. Fine. So then... the glaive slashes into this guy uh, as you sort of float off the building. Uh, you see, he was fussing with his gun, which just exploded as this happened. It just ah, duh, and just sort of staggers back from it. Yeah. Uh, I think that's me. Okay. Cool. That was great. Fire spreads. <laughs> Should be losing mm. your turn. Um, I might finish that up in a minute. Uh, we're going to jump across to the next turn, which is the crow! Oh no! One second, I have to relook re all day. What is uh, Pentagon number one? Is the beast or what? Uh, later. Um, that is the, uh, that's that's the spiritual, spiritual weapon. Ah, the spirit. Oh, right. Oh, God, sorry. I was anyway. Um, uh, yes, you see the crow standing still above you, Chad, like. Oh, come on, enough of this now. Let's put this to bed. <laughs> and this place is going to go in for another round of uh, attacking you. <laughs> um, da, 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 the crow. Thunder gauntlet. Here we go. Oh, that first one is a nine to hit. Nine? Nah. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Wait, with advantage? Uh, not for her. Did she not get advantage? No, that's all the messes get advantage. She is a, ah, she uses a different stab block. Yeah. Um, oh. Second one is a th 18 hit, however. Yes, well, yeah. yeah. So that's as she awesome. sort of mocks you, she goes in with the first blow, and you once again spin around the shield and just push it to the side. Uh, but as she does that, she comes in with the other hand and just goes for a low blow towards your chest. Open. Yep. Um, that is... Oh, not that much. Uh, six points of thunder damage. Does she get another... Did, did she? Does she have another attack? She has a third attack coming. Yes. There's a third attack yes, coming. Christ. Well, I'm um, going to. How much was that? Damage-wise. That was six points of thunder damage. I'm going to use my protective field on that. In that case. Yep. Um, so it's one d8 plus one. Let's roll that d8. 
Go reduce that by four. Four. You take two points of damage. Cool. Um, well, however, as this does hit you, so it's kind of like the the shockwave is almost dampened by your psionic field. There's like a <laughs> almost ripples. But you watch the sparks come off of her hand, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I've got so many plans that don't involve me being paralyzed. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Yes, please. 17. 17. Electricity just right through your armor once again, and you feel it just kind of starting to... S just your body freeze up. You push past it. Yeah. Not, sure not sure if it's the psionic energy, if it's just the vampirism, or just your sheer bloody determination not to be fucking stunned. Mm -hmm. um, but you push through that. There was a you hear a um a, almost like muffled or modulated breath from this figure as they seem to be uh, getting more exasperated at the situation and it comes in for one final and third hit. Mm -hmm. That is a twenty to hit. Oh, yep. No. That'll do it. Uh, and once again there's gonna be electricity on this one as it goes with another blow to the stomach again. Um so damage wise, that is uh, oh that's ten points of damage. Oh my god. Uh, Chad is unconscious. Yes. Right, yeah. So you watch as this blow goes to the stomach and electricity just racks through your body. And at this point, that saps the last of your strength. And you just feel your consciousness drift. Um, yeah. This is a non lethal attack. So you are actually not unconscious. You are not dying. But I do have zero HP. Zero HP. So you don't make death saving throws, but you are dying. And as you kind of like drifting in out of consciousness, you start to fall backwards. And you fall basically into the arms of the other mess agent. Mm. And you just, as you're drifting in and out, you just hear the crow go. Quickly, get him out of here. Can't have him dying in this place. Father will be furious. And you just watch as she turns and starts walking up the stairs as your vision just drops. Opportunity at... Uh... <laughs> nope. Opportunity wink. Yeah. This is much as And, uh... Great. But they're going up. Turn off here. your vision, Chad. You oh! can't see anything. That's exciting. God damn. Oh, uh, where is he? I've got, I've got, I've got Sorry. two questions. I, yeah, I've got. Please don't just skip over my turn. I, I've got, I've got two questions. Sure. I want to about it. That's fine. But uh, I'll let you finish up first. Yeah, it's fine. Take me there. That's fine. Might just miss that. Um. Cool. Uh, so that is the crow's turn. Yes. Christina! So you Hi. are running down the streets, uh, going towards this well, which again, you know where this is. And as you arrive at this well, and this well has always been, it's kind of decrepit, a bit falling apart. Um, there is a crowd of people around this well. Who? And you just hear, quickly, quickly, get buckets to the smaller mine! Uh, to, um, sorry, to no. the five fellows, quickly! And you recognize instantly that all of the five fellows' patrons are here. <gasps> all of the regulars yes. and the patrons are here. And you see they're just like dishing out buckets and starting to run down the streets past you. Yay! <laughs> so cute. I don't need to do anything! Well, I wonder if there's something I can do to help out. If there isn't really, I guess I'm just gonna grab a bucket. Yeah, yeah, you can just basically help help out. So you talk, like a bucket is thrust into your hands as you arrive, and you can basically just turn around and start running back. So yeah. that will be the whole of your turn. But next turn, you'll be on the field with a bucket of water, right. uh, joined by uh, an army of alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. Is there an indication of how many? Um, someone roll me two d twelve. Don't roll oh, shit, because this will be really bad. <laughs> There's two of them. I'll do it. Um... Yeah, so 2d12. D12 for... There are 13! 13, there are 13 of these guys. So yeah, you see like two of them are dealing with the well itself, and the other 11, plus you, so 12, are being given buckets of water, and like, they obviously, there's not enough buckets, so they're just grabbing anything at this point. There's pots and pans, everything, just being dished out. And yeah, you start it's running back with uh, with this sort of, like, militia almost entire of people just holding water and running to the Five Fellows. This is... Ah, uh, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yes. 
Uh, so that's in your turn. The fire has spread. Chandranetheus. <laughs> yes, you are basically being lifted down the stairs now. Again, fading in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Can I? Now, I'm assuming uh, you, I'm expecting the, the answers to these to be to be no. But I don't remember the last time I've been unconscious in D and D before. So um, yeah. Uh, I presumably can't use my second wind uh, bonus action to regain any HP. No. That's fine. I didn't expect that. I presumably can't reach out with my mind to use any telekinetic powers uh, while I'm unconscious. Roll me. Just roll me a charisma check. Ooh, just a straight throw. Just charisma, yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. So, before we come to that, I just want to... So, although you're not dying, which is, you know, usually when I do this, but I, as you're kind of drifting in and out of consciousness, and you are drifting to sleep, your mind does flash back to a memory of some kind. I want you to describe to me what, in your mind, what, what triggers your yep, ability, yep. That the, the one last ditch attempt to use some psionic energy, what memory triggers that? So, uh, the crow has just mentioned my father, mm -hmm. uh, and so the memory is going to be a, uh, a training day of me and my me and my father. And my he was he was very heavy-handed when it came to uh, came to all this. Um, and uh, this is me on the ground, quite similar in a way to uh, to uh, Brask's uh, yeah. thing. This is me on my ground with my father standing over me. Uh, he's having you know teaching me how to how to punch how to how to fight uh and is um uh standing over me and i'm on the floor uh looking up at him you know bloody he's he's, he's, he's bloodied my nose yeah he's saying you need if you're if you're down if you're down you can use anything you know it's just you it's always just you you use anything that you can to get back up again and, uh, and, yeah, and that's you can't that. rely on someone else coming to get you up. You need to get yeah. yourself up. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and the, the thing that I would like to try and do, because obviously the telekinetic thing isn't isn't an attack, is I would like to. There's lots of like things on fire, and there are chairs and tables and things. I would yep. like to basically try and trip this guy up, try and put move something so it, like in front of him. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay, so I want you to make me an athletics check, but I want to use your charisma instead of your strength. So basically, better if you do this, if you roll a charisma check and then add your proficiency bonus to it. Yes, okay, yeah, so just click on the charisma yeah. plus three. Yeah, and then add your proficiency bonus on top of that. Because uh, essentially what you're doing is a shove with your mind <laughs> versus, and he's going to try and resist it. Right, okay. So that is... Mind shove. Mind shove. There's an 18. Because it's a 15 18. plus my proficiency. Hell yeah. Uh, he rolled pretty high, but only a 15. <gasps> so as you're drifting in and out of consciousness, this guy's starting to drag you down the stairs. You just remember these memories like, no, no. And you just summon this sort of bout of energy that you've never done before. And you watch this guy just go and just get knocked to the side. And if you remember where you were on the stairs, Chad, you're, there was a door where you were just been fighting a guy. This guy just gets shoved into that room, which is just burning and on fire. And you see it, ah! as he just hits the floor. And that room is like a swing door, so the door just swings shut again as he's just laying, just being thrown into a room full of fire. So that's the in the map. And with that last push, you just go, bump, a full unconscious. Yep. I've actually had it in the in the back of my mind the whole time. Like if it if the crow hadn't come up behind me, I was gonna I was gonna do a shield master shove and just shove that guy into that room and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Oh, you have done that. Um, yes. The only dis disadvantage now is that you are also now laying unconscious in next to the burning, room. That's burning. Inside a room, building. Inside oh, a room yeah. full of fire. Yeah. yeah. At least I'm on the ground floor. You know. Yeah, that's true. At least yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And the crow walked away, so they even she doesn't know what's happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So good. Uh, Carly will come and look for you, but she's busy right now. A little bit later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might start need to throw some uh, death saving throws at this right here in a minute, Chess. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, anyway, like, Ross, it, and then, oh, sorry, that obviously no, doesn't count as a, an action that I can then use a bonus action on. That, that's fine. No, no, I, I, I'm, I am. Yeah. Good, 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 good. No, this is a. Uh, you have used sure. what I want to call uh, DM's favor. Um, <laughs> yes. The blessings of the DM. <laughs> That was the blessing of the Dale wind. That was yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know, you you've got your action, your bonus action, your reaction, and your cheeky action, and that was. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, Brass, it's your turn. Hello. So yeah, you've um, just seen Tali grow wings, fly slightly off the building, and shout at some people in the street. Wait. And yeah. also be shot by someone. I figure out how close to these guys I can get. I think I can probably get to seven, right? So the tricky part is getting down to the building. Because you oh, are cool. roughly about ten feet off the ground. So you can you could just jump off. Um which obviously is one. It's thing. always gone well for me. Yeah. It has yeah. gone well for you. Um or you could try and climb down. Mm. The tricky part is getting down safely will use your action. Whether you just risk it and run, uh, you'll probably fall prone, which then also slow you down, but you'll still have your action. Um, why should I just fight from here? Quest. You can also reposition yourself on the roof to see more as well. Yeah. Um, thinking. If I if I just jump, can I use the feathered swarm carrying me to like offset the danger of it? You have to hit someone first, I think, because you have to. It only works if you hit. Oh, after you hit a creature with an attack, yeah. Well, but you're, you're trying to use a creative use of your ability, so I'm trying to think of how that would work. I would I think say... almost like, kind of like, run down steps, steps made of bees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there'll be a risk. What I would say is you can attempt it. There'll be a bonus action to command the bees to do this, and you would need to make a wisdom check. To see if they successfully carry your weight. Or if you just go step on the first step of bees and just go through. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. All right. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, let's sure. try that together. So, show me where in the where in the building are you jumping off? Are you stepping off? And then we'll go from there. Um. So I'm literally going. Yeah. So I guess it'd be this this little block. Okay. Cool. How do I do the? I don't remember how you do the little thingy. But you see it. Yeah. You basically want to go here. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So, using your bonus action, roll me a wisdom, a wisdom check. Wisdom check! I will actually make the argument, if you have animal handling, I'll let you do animal handling. Uh, Otherwise, just a wisdom that is, check. Uh, okay, well that is a better roll for yeah. me, so I'll do that one, yes. <laughs> uh, you are trying to handle uh, some animals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was one better. I got six. Six. Okay, cool. Ooh. You are so confident about your plan, Brask. This is the smartest thing you've ever. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> because it's from time to time, he just he just walks off the building. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to your to your mind, Carly, it might be like Brass has seen you fly and assumed he would be able to do it too. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, the, um, um, what's the uh, the god in Hercules that's got like the wings on his ankles? Oh, what Hermes. Was ho hoping, yeah, that's yeah. what I was hoping would happen. Um, so you just plummet through these this. <laughs> Step of bees, uh, you hit the ground, you take six points of bludgeoning damage, and you are prone. Sure. Oh god. Um, <laughs> does that mess me up to do anything else then? So, you use a ten foot of movement to get here, you're now prone, um, so you can either stand up, which will take fifteen foot of movement, or you could crawl along, which takes, which costs cost you double movement. So you so melee, have, uh, melee attacks would be advantaged against you though. Probably... Yeah, and, and attacks you make a disadvantage. So basically, you're probably better off standing up and then moving one more square. Realistically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that 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 is what I will do. Then. I'll so you you stand up. Yeah. I imagine brush it off as if nothing. You know that was what you intended to do. <laughs> I'm just like go 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 like to the swarm of bees around me. Like good effort. Yeah. That's okay. Guys. <laughs> but... I also need you to make me a Constitution saving throw, please, because um. With your hail of thorns, because you had it on hold, you were concentrating on it. So I need to see if you maintained your concentration on that spell. Uh, the Constitution saving throw. Nineteen. Nineteen, you're fine. Um, you're more determined than ever to use your hail of thorns now. Yeah. Now that I'm standing and can see yeah. these guys, 
Yes, you can see quite uh, a few of them for, now. Go for another classic. Actually, wait, do I do that? I think I'm going to go for just a, a little dragon fang yep. on number seven. Seven, okay, cool. Roll to hit. Roll your first attack. Once you deal with your cat. It is going to be... Terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's 15. Could be worse. 15 hits. Uh, so roll damage, and you also get the Hell of Thorns effect as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is uh, six regular damage, and then Hail of Thorns is 1d6. Uh, no, sorry, that, that was uh, Hail of Thorns is... One there, and you cast it at second 1D10. level. So get, and you get 2d10 oh. you cast it at second level. 2d10, yeah. Uh, and nine. So that is 15 in total. 15 oh. points in total. It's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, sorry, that's not quite how it works. Um, oh. It makes a dexterity saving throw against the additional damage. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just quickly do that. Uh, so it got an 18, so it'll take half of that damage. So what did you roll on the, D, on the D10s? Um, that was 9. Oh, so I guess take... in total it's 10 or... Yeah, 10. so basically you... you divide 9. Yeah, you round down, then you go down, so it'd be four. Um, ten in total damage, then. Ten total damage, there you go. Two, number seven. Not That's not bad at all. Um, yeah, yeah. Gee, as you hit, you stand up, brush it off, you throw Dragon Fang, and just, yeah, imagine this is also the bees. Basically, just come, sting us forward, just zoom. Hey. <laughs> this guy's just like, oh, shit, and just puts an arm up. And... The leather armor takes some of the blow of the bees, but obviously some of them get through. Mm -hmm. And also he gets, you know, hit around the head by a boomerang, so... He ain't looking good! As he's nice. standing there. And um, you get to make a second attack! Oh, yes, that's true! I, I keep forgetting this. This is, this is fun. you new, and you haven't done a lot of fighting since you got level 5. Yeah. Uh, well, then I'm gonna I'm a finish off number 7 if I can, with Go for it. another hit from Dragonfang. Actually, oh, right. do I? Yes, I will. Yeah. So that is 20 this time. Unnatural 20. That will hit. And damage wise, it is uh, 5. 5 points of damage. No worries. Uh, yeah. So no another good hit. The guy is still standing, but he's not look he's looking woozy. Uh, you can see him staggering, just like, uh, to, like holding his arms up against his barrage from the boomerang. Um, you're not having a good time. As as, uh, as Dragon Fang like comes back to my hand, I want to just like uh, I'm trying to recover from looking stupid. So I want to like stand up, Dragon Fang in hand, big like teethy smile with like just the bees sort of yeah. hovering beside me. Yeah, come at me, bro. Yeah, cool. Lovely. Up next, it is Pebbles' turn. Hello, I'm here. Um... Your companions have both of them have walked off of the roof, but to very different effects. Uh, so Pebble is gonna come here boop, 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 and try to parkour it like okay. you know when, when there's like a corner you go like like this yeah. with the PS1 um, go like So huh? make me an acrobatics check please. Yeah. <laughs> um I think it's the most sensible way of coming down, but it could lend you some bees if you like. It's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> you you do really you have off to a good start, you feel confident, and then you realize you are a weedy farm boy and you've never done this before. <laughs> and as you start to like put your full weight on it, you just slip to the floor and uh, you're gonna take some full damage as well. <clears throat> you take four points of full damage, uh, bludgeoning damage, as you hit the floor and you are prone also. I'm I unprone myself. Yeah, so you stand up. Oh right, that's that's the technical term, huh? Uh, <laughs> I am. No, you're right. I'm prone yourself. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna deal some damage. So I'm just gonna come here ish. Uh, well, not, not in front of the brass. Mm, how do I do this nicely without being like extra exposed? Well, I guess, I mean, I guess I, I'll have to be like here, right? How, uh, how much? Well, what you can do is. How much movement did you use? When you when you hit prone, how much you movement had you used at that point? Uh, so I was here, so I did one, two, Ten? three. It would, it would be, yeah. So then you're out of movement when you stand up. 
Oh, it uses half your movement to stand up. Can't go anywhere. Right. So you're stuck there. And you use your action to try and climb down. So you yeah, are, yeah, you're yeah. only have a bonus action left. I give Brask a little kiss. Boop. And then I come Good. here. No, um. One sec, bonus action. Uh, you don't have a lot of bonus actions, unfortunately, as Pebble. No. no. This is true. <laughs> Just trying to exhaust my. Nah. I tell the bees. Good. Good job. Because I can't. I can speak with animals. Yeah. Cool. That's <laughs> in your turn then. It's now the Messer's turns. Wow. Uh, you watch us coming running up the alleyway. Ooh. Is uh, number one. Uh, Brass, you see this guy. This guy has like all the leather armor and uh, clothing. He's been burnt on one side, oh, no. as this is clearly the guy who's been burnt by all your your previous attempts. Uh, you watch as he picks up a rifle and he's holding it, uh, but he's going to wait until number seven gets up into you. He's going to try ah. and make a melee attack. I uh, make a coordinated know. strike. Um, That's not so good. seven is going to try and hit you first. Would like it noted that Brask realizes he's responsible for this guy burning and laughs. Good. Hmm. And as you laugh, uh, that's a 19 to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit me. Yeah. He's going to educate these it. boys, but it seems like the universe is doing it for her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, four points of damage. This guy just hit. As you're laughing, almost like I eyes closed, big belly laugh. You just get smacked around oh. the jaw by this guy with the truncheon. Uh, he's still got your attention, but he's going to make a second. forgot he was in combat. Yeah. <laughs> he's just enjoying the uh, visuals so much. Go to his second attack, and that's an 18 to hit. For the first time in his life, Brass is not in combat now. Yeah. And that second hits, so then that is a... That is 8 points of damage. This guy just lays into you with this truncheon. Uh, but then number one is now going to fire his uh, rifle at you. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit this because his ally is within five feet. Uh, that is a twenty to hit. Uh, but only two points of damage. Just catches the bullet in its teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it does sort of like skim across like some of the scales in your shoulder, and like there was like a burn through it, but actually there's not a lot of impact. Bullet gives you cavities. Um... Mostly scar tissue anyway already. Yeah. Uh, number five is going to spend his turn trying to repair his gun. Oh. <laughs> number six. Uh, roll another check with number six to see what they do. Fourteen. Okay. So you watch as they kind of snap back to attention, realizing that they have a job to do, and they pick <laughs> the rifle up and they're going to take another shot towards you, Tali. Well, I take a shot towards you. Okay. Uh, and it's a 13. No. No, there's all this guy who's got to snap back into it. You see there's still some hesitation to them. And they almost like instinctively pull low as they try to shoot you and the bullet just flies underneath you. They're like, I don't really want to do the work today. I don't want to do the work today. Um, I don't know if you get the reference. It's fine. I didn't get the reference, but I appreciated the art, the the effort there. You know, like, Thank you. <laughs> so. That's good. Uh, on the other side of the building, uh, those of you with high perceptions, uh, you hear a smash of a window. Ooh. You're not sure really what's happening over there. Tali would hear that. Yeah, Tali would hear. That's what I'm saying. Tali and Brass probably. So it, it's going from like the direct like to like kind of like from behind like behind us if we were facing this way on this side. Yeah, so basically on the map it would be the east side of the map. Yeah. Okay. Kind of where you heard Chad shouting. Yeah, like for the rest of the, it's like oh, it's here. Probably oh no, well, but in the other floor. Crow also. lady, isn't it? Yeah, probably. We headed back in upstairs. Yeah, I don't. Oh, gosh. Or it's that guy who was in the burning room with managed to get out. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We have to get all these tokens down one floor, haven't we? <laughs> Fuck. I just, I'm just realizing that. Because we're all in the, uh, the, on the ground. It's fine. Okay. So 
monitors and stuff happens in where you can't see, that's fine. Back to the top of the round! Tali, it's you! Yeah. Okie dokie. How is Brask looking? In terms of... Health. It's alright. Bruised, right? more an ego right? than he is in that's body. Right. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I've been worse. Um... Yes. Okay. Tali is gonna move. He wants to still see what's happening around the side of the building, so I'm gonna move. Oh, I can't. That's not. That's not how I move. Here we go. Like here. Um, but still, but still flying um, a bit. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. The one in front of Brask looks pretty fine. Or number seven. Uh, seven is no. Seven looks very wounded. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and do a glaive attack on them. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Uh, eleven. Eleven will just hit. <gasps> hey! Good. Uh, so that is. Five points of damage, but I mean it depends how just how wounded they are. <laughs> uh, five points of damage. Have a little quizzy really looky. Um, that that's can't not do an additional five. That does not knock them down. They're still standing. I'll do. I'll do an additional five. Uh, because I have an additional five radiant damage. Um, to one target. One additional five action. points of damage. Yes. That does knock them down. So um, yeah, the, I was like the glaive, like the end of the glaive, like glows with this kind of like silvery shimmer, and then uh, she she hits him. Nice. And you watch as you sort of swipe through him, and there is sort of this moment where he still stands, and almost like a secondary wave of energy just hits him, and you watch it goes and just gets knocked to the floor. Nice. Yeah, and she, she probably say you know like a, uh, Intin, please, please, please guide guide this soul. Um, she she will like to have a free action to the other ones like if you if you stop if you stop fighting if you stop whatever this is we will spare you but then um, she will also use a bonus action to to swing at the number five again yeah roll it you know there is a way out of this for them but yeah uh, Oscar is well. not not happy about that he we agreed to spare one. We did, but you know. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, okay, so it's a. This, uh, a nine. <laughs> nine to hit? Uh -huh. Nine will not hit. Sad. Okay. But that guy, unfortunately, is still standing. That's fine. Seven's down, though, so. Seven is down. And no, yeah, she's like, brass, like, you know, yeah, it's, it's fine. I've also now moved all of you to the actual lower floor, so I'm just gonna. Oh, good. Ah. I'm gonna kill these people over here. Um. Swoop. Yeah, I think that uh, is me. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna stop doing it on the map, but the fire spreads. Oh no! Oh, that happens. I see. yes. Just a little bit. Stuff is happening. You hear more. You hear like almost like beams of wood crashing down from within the pub. Things sound bad. Uh, it's now the crow's turn. <laughs> Tell me, when you went to, um, Attack that guy with your glaive. How close to the ground did you get? This is what I th I'm thinking. Like, I'm I'm kind of thinking Tali is ten foot away diagonally. Yeah. Because I have to be ten. I have ten foot reach, so she wouldn't be touching the floor. But she. Yeah. So you're still kind yeah. of up in the sky. Cool. Yes. So you would see this as you hear exactly why <laughs> stepping out of the kitchen roof behind you. You for the first time see the crow walking uh -oh. out on the roof. Yeah. Where did you room. see them? Uh, yeah, just about. Okay. That's More fine. importantly, though, they see you. Um, and you can hear this muffled voice from like, 
Oh, I knew you'd be trouble. And you watch as she just raises her arm. And still, like, she's about 30 feet away from you. And you watch as this lightning just builds down the arm and a blast of lightning comes out towards you. Mm, I'm not okay with this. Uh, she's using her mm. other attack, which she hasn't done so far, which is the lightning launcher. Um, the lightning launcher? Excuse lightning me? launcher. Excuse her? Uh, so that's a 19 to hit, Tali. Sure. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> you take... Yeah, fine. <laughs> Five points of lightning damage, as it's like almost like Iron Man style blast, because and this lightning fires out at you. Uh, then she's gonna do it again. Okay. A uh, fifteen to hit. No. So this time you kind of like it's almost as you didn't notice her water on the roof until you got shocked, and then you kind of spotted that, and as she comes in for a second blow, you just quickly duck to the side, avoiding the second blow. Um, I'm gonna put her where she would be equivalent on the roof, but she's yeah. gonna look like she's in the kitchen. Yeah, that's fine, as long as I can see you. Uh, ah, yeah. oh, she's not gonna work. No, I know. We'll figure out at some point. Okay. I might, I might have to put you on both layers, Tali. We'll deal with that in a bit. That's fine. Um, anyway, that is her turn. Christina! You mm. arrive back with an army of yes. drunken, well, not drunken, <laughs> uh, not drunken, sober patrons. <laughs> you don't want to be sober, they want their pub back. Um, to the burning pub, and you can see he's in a much you know, worse state than when you left. And I assume you and the rest of them, well, they definitely will, is you start watching, they just start throwing, throwing pans of water onto mm. the exterior of the pub where the fire is, and start making their way through to uh, deal with this. Uh, what are you going to do? You're thinking, throw the bucket of water. Um, do you want to stay or do you want to head back? Is, I guess my bigger question. Is there a way I can do a check to see how effective this is? Mm. Um, roll me, roll me an investigation check. Okie doke. Cool, I'm quite good on investigation. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, when you come back with your one bucket, you kind of realise. The sort of, um, you know you were desperate, but you realised that one bucket alone wasn't going to do anything. However, the actual quantity of people who are doing this, and that the actual speed which they can now do it, almost like continuous line of water, um, there is a good chance that the, the, the five fellows is not going to burn to the ground from this. You think it, this will work, yes. it will take time. And obviously there'll be a lot of damage, but the five fellows, at least the foundation will still be there at the end of this. Oh, good. good. I like I like those odds. Yeah. Um, what I think I am gonna do is I've got the cantrip shape water. Yes. So, which so I can basically move little bits of water within like yep. feet of me. So I'm gonna try and like sneak because like obviously I don't want these people to know I use oh. magic. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna sneak shape water to try and aim better. So, yeah. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so you're gonna use your power to sort of direct the magic. Um. I want you to do two things for me. I want first of all roll me a sleight of hand check. This is to see how well you disguise the fact you're using magic. Yeah. Oh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so you are able to yeah do it very subtly. And then I want you to roll me just a charisma check just to see actually how well your magic is able to spread the water. Sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. Amazing. So not only do these uh, these wow. these patrons are running back and forth, they're not really looking. They're just throwing water, turning and running. So in the sort of hustle, they're not noticing that you're casting magic. And then what you're able to do is actually like almost like double the efficiency of what they're doing. As you, the water throwing from like a pot, you know, a pan is very contained. You're almost like spreading it, kind of like a hose would do. And there's like a yeah. spray of water, and you are able to get. Yeah, even more so than before, that you think this this will work, but you, this will take your pretty much. You need to stay here and keep doing this. Now. Yeah, yeah. Me, that was fantastic. So well done. Um, yeah. That ended your turn, however. Uh, Chad, you are now fully unconscious, so we're going to skip over you. Uh, I, do I need to do a death saving throw? No, you do not. Ooh. Stable. You are okay. stable, and it seems the fire has not reached you. Am I stable uh, because of the because of the, the the memory thing? No, you are stable because uh, the crow is, was not trying to kill you. Hmm. Oh, so right. When, okay, good. When you right. are when you yeah. are when you knock a creature zero, 
You can yep. choose to make it non-lethal, in which case they just go unconscious. Yeah. And yep. yes. That makes sense. I didn't know if if that had if that had then changed. Uh, no. Okay, good. good. No. However, if you had been then uh, caught in a fire, then you'd start making death-saving throws. But it doesn't seem to have happened, despite the fact that you fell unconscious next to a fire. Next to some next to some hmm. heckin' fire. Anyway, Brusk, it's your turn. You watch as Tali has just slain the person in front of you, and then uh, some lightning has been shot at Tali. I would yeah, have would so... have told everybody that the the, yep. the person was on the roof and, and specifically yep. Brass, that's the one that's the one we don't kill. Oh. Huh. Uh <laughs> Brass is like, but that's the one I wanna kill. <laughs> <laughs> ah. They'll have uh, information. Okay. Um I can't the crow is on the roof. You can't see at the moment because you're on the ground floor. Yeah. It grows up on the roof. Uh, and we've got Messer Agent 1 who's all burnt up, right? Yeah, that's the burned, burnt one. Uh, the one who tried to shoot you just a second ago. Well, technically did shoot you, but not very well. Uh, um... No, I guess that would be. Uh, I'm gonna figure out if I can like do anything to the crow, even though I don't know exactly where they are. Like I could probably do like sort of area of effect attack. Yeah, or, or, like, most and things you need to roughly kind of see. guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do, Brask is just Brask is gonna. As Tali said, not to kill this one. Rusk is gonna kill all the other ones instead. That's his. That's his new favorite thing to do. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You know, logic dictates uh, he's he's gonna be killing. So he's gonna kill the ones he's allowed to. Mm -hmm. Um. So, cool. how worse for where does number one look? Number one, um, not very to be honest. Burnt a little bit, but it oh. looks like they're still almost at full oh. strength. All right. Okay. The, the fire was the only thing that damaged them. Like you guys, you guys oh. do far more damage than the fire does. Really? So I am going oh, to move to number Uno. Yep. Uh, yonder, and I am going to do a little combo that we discussed, where I bite. Yep. And as I do, something interesting happens. Yes. Uh... Assuming it hits. Yes. So you use your bonus action to prep your thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Which we all describe in a second. Um. And then yes, roll a hit with your bite. Come on, please be good. Twenty-three. <sighs> that is good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that definitely hits. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, Ryan, because oh. uh, Tali and Bra, uh, Tali and Pebble see this. So explain to us what happens. You bite this man. So as uh, so I move towards him and as I like I'm gonna like essentially put my two giant claws on this guy's shoulder. Uh-huh. And then like as I reel back, like jaws open, ready to bite down, uh, there's like a, a hint of a spark from them. And as I come in to bite, they fully ignite and my teeth are on fire. What? As they go into this guy's neck. What? All right. It's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Yes. A later conversation. It uh, seems as if Brask, as a dragon, has maybe unlocked a little bit of more of the dragon heritage. As you yeah. practically see, it's not quite breathing fire, but he definitely seems to be able to in, in, uh, light his uh -huh. jaws when doing a bite. Um, so yes, roll damage for, for the bite and then the searing smite. Uh, so the bite is... And also hail of course, right? Five. That was done. Uh, so the bite is... That was five. Five. Uh, Searing Smite is... We did that first level. It is also four. So nine points of damage total. And, and does first... Searing... Oh, sorry. Go on. What you say? No, go on. What can you say? Um, so I also... Oh, gosh. Wait. Um, because I... Uh, made a bite attack... 
Uh, I gained two hen temporary hit points. Yes. With, uh, hungry Jaws. Yeah. I think with Searing Smite, do they catch fire and take continual damage? Is that a thing? Uh, oh, I really hope so. <laughs> Let me find out for you there, Adam. Uh, Searing Smite. Oh, get out of the way. Um, the target or a creature within five feet is an action. Um, at the start of each turn until of its turns until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 1d6 of fire damage. Yes. So basically, they, you watch some of the leather and stuff around like the arm you bit into just ignites and there is a fire on them. Um, Good. Practical. Um, might be worth noting, by the way, that according to, uh, to Bulbapedia, Firefang uh, uh, was TM68 in Pokemon's uh, <laughs> <in Pokemon's laughs> Shield. <laughs> good. It was introduced it was in, actually, in Generation exactly 4. What? Yep, good, there you go. Thanks, yeah. thanks for that uh, quick wiki check there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking at least a Generation 4 Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. Good. Right, so this guy's yet on fire. Um, that was your first attack. So what's your, yes. your second attack? Um, for the second attack, uh, do I get a sense of how bad this guy is? Uh, in terms of like, is that or him close to death's door? He or... still looks like he's pretty hardy. Like he's obviously struggling a bit with the fire, but he doesn't look like he's on death's door. He's got more work to do. <laughs> we can do, we can do something about that. Um, so what I will do then, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, pull out Dragon Fang. Yep. Um, but I'm going to use it as a, as a melee weapon. Yeah. Okay. It. I'm just going to try and embed it in his rib cage. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Um, so this is going to be going to be an improvised weapon attack. So basically, roll me a strength. Just roll me strength. Because you're not proficient in using Dragon Fang as a melee weapon. That's true. Uh, so just so roll strength. strength. Uh, oh, natural one. <laughs> natural one, yeah. Um, this is always the way my turns go. Like, the first bit is really cool, and then it messes up entirely. It's really interesting. As you go to brand this Dragon Fang and go to hit, it's almost as if Dragon Fang itself doesn't want to be used this way, and you almost feel a pull from Dragon Fang which like let, takes your arm up and away. As if the weapon itself doesn't want to be used in this way. It's like mm, it's resisting being used like, in such a wrong! Yeah. Um okay. So that was the end of your actions. Um and you've used your bonus action to just cast Searing Smite, so you can move yeah. if you want to, but obviously if you move away from this guy he'll get to hit you. I was going to say, you'll get an attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. Um, what's the... This is the guy with rifle, right? This guy has a... He currently had a rifle out, because he, he shot you last. Um, technically, what's... all of them have a rifle and a truncheon. They just can yeah. swap. Okay, yeah, so we'll just use that. Convenient. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just stay where I am, then, and just... Okay. Roar in his stupid face. That's mm -hmm. fair. Pebble, it's your turn! No, I'm here! Um... So I've clocked on the fact that the sixth guy is a little bit terrified by yep. Charlie, and I'm just gonna use that. How how many squares can I move again? You can move six squares. I'm not gonna go too far, but like about here. And yep. well, it depends on the spell once I can. Uh... Enough range to just cast the spell from where you were standing, pending. Uh, ooh. You did have vision probably there. But, oh, yeah, yeah, if you had yeah. vision. Okay, yeah, see, yeah, 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 but yeah, you're right, absolutely. I, I'm gonna keep here, just in case. Yeah. So it's like 25 feet away. Yeah, that's, yes. that's tiny. Because um, what you could do is you can cast a spell, and if it doesn't, well, actually, whether it does or doesn't work, you can actually then back around the corner out of vision. Oh, right. Uh, that's good. Um, or it is not bad. Uh,. I, I'm just reading Chaos Bolt at the higher levels. Target takes. Yeah, fuck it. I'm pissed off. Um, so. A creature can be targeted only once by each casting of the spell. Oh, even at higher levels. Mm. Yeah. However. One second. No, no, no. Sorry. 
Uh, it's because Chaos Bolt can bounce from creatures, so you can only hit the same creature once. You have to hit different, different uh, targets. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. That eight. might not happen, look, okay, this depends on. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, how do I determine what level of Chaos you Bolt? Choose. You choose. Do yeah, you, you want to cast that? But all three levels of it, like second, third, and. Uh, no, first, second, and third, say 2d8. So. In the spell, does it say anything about casting at a higher level? Because yeah. at the bottom of the spell, it usually says at higher levels you get Oh, right, right. This. So it's not automatic. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's not automatic. So just basically uh, click on the spell slot you want to use for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Just... Okay, I'm going to obliterate number six. I'm going to try at least. So Cool. So roll to hit. Level three. Level uh, three. Chaos ball. Roll to hit. I'm going to regret, regret this. So I've cast it. Rolls to hit. Uh, six, um, what was that? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you press the like, to hit button. There'll be a hit DC. DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, click on that, I'll do it for you. Well, that was a fantastic number 12. 12. Uh, that does hit, though. Ooh! So. Whoa! Uh, right. that, roll uh, damage. No, first I so, think I have to roll the damage type, right? Yeah, so first, well, it's, it's a complicated it spell, annoyingly. Yeah. So roll, do the 2d8 first. Cool. Let's do that. 2d8? Oh, yes, you roll two d8, and then from that you determine the damage, and then on oh. top of that you'll roll because uh, you're doing it at that yeah, level. Yeah, you'll do three d6. So, so I'm get, I'm rolling basically two d8 and three d6. Yes, start with the two d8. All right, two d8. So it's a seven and a two, so it's nine plus whatever. Yeah, and so seven and two. That... So you can do cold or you can do psychic damage. <laughs> that was pissed off. Psychic damage. Psychic, uh, okay. So you do psychic damage, so you do 9 points, then roll 3d6. 3d6. I like Chaos Bolt, but it is a complicated spell. So it's very it's... cool, but yeah. It's... All right, so it's a total of 9 that I've rolled just now, plus the other 9, right? Yep, so 18 points of psychic damage, this guy. Damn. Uh, it's number, and that was number 6, yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a target that Pebble has picked at random. It's just like the weakest one. It's like, oh, this guy is weak. Pebble is just like... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you watch as this guy, as he's sort of wavering with his gun, look at Tali. Just sort of clutches, like, drops the gun and clutches his head. As clear this psychic just racks through his brain. Um, he's still standing, however, hmm. but he is just like... Alright. Um, and I have to roll a little dice. You do! Roll me a d4. Good. This is a three, and I don't remember what we said. Three is fine. Nothing again. happens. Oh, don't then you have to roll a one before. Uh, no. Uh, no, so we slightly, slightly custom rules. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so fine. But technically, we should roll the d4 before we do damage. That's what I'm saying. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because it, our it version might the... have. Ah, right, 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 right. Our rules might have it so you can't cast a spell. Um. Um, so in which case that would have been a completely yeah, wasted effort. Cool. But anyway, it's fine. It yeah, happens. Yeah, That's the important part. Next time um, I will remember. So it's on me as well. Cool. Uh, are you ducking back around the corner? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so put your back where you are, and that's the end of your turn. Yeah. It's now the agent's turns. So a few things are going to happen. Let's do this first. Uh, Ty, where you are, yes, you hear a smash of a window. Mm. As you watch in the street to your the east, uh, you see a mess agent come crashing through the window, carrying Chad's unconscious body. Ah! Uh... Oh boy! There's a guy in there. Oh boy! Does he look like he's been burned? Uh, Chad does not look burned. Does the, does the mess arrangement look like he's been burned? Uh, yes. Sorry, it's not really me to arm. No, no, no. You, you, yes, he does. Cool. <laughs> and as you're contemplating that, the door to the kitchen swings open and you watch another mess agent run out. Oh, so many good. people. Um, but that's their, all of their turns. Um, number one is uh, on fire. So it makes a constitution saving throw. Is it start at the end of this turn? Uh, I believe it is at the start. Let me double check. Uh, 
if. Um, oh my god. At the start of each of its turns, yeah. No. I rolled a 20. So currently he's not been affected by the fire. Oh. Wow. Uh, that's fine, but it's gonna hit you. It's gonna go for some hits on you, Brask. Uh, Ooh, oh, I... bro. That's fine. First one is a natural one. Um, so you watch as, although like it's trying to sort of wrestle against your jewels, are still buying his arm. The fire is kicking; it's not working. And the second one is a six. So yeah, this guy is just is now in a shit time. Mm. He's like just wrestling like, against with, you. With my jewels still around him, I'm just gonna like laugh. Yeah. As he's trying to attack me. At each laugh, making a little puff of smoke coming out of my yeah. mouth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> choo choo train. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a wisdom check for both five and six, but for different reasons. Ooh. Okay, so five got an eighteen. Six got a ten. Okay. So six you watch a six holding its head in pain, waving from fighting tiny, just turns and starts to run. <laughs> run down the street. They are done with this situation, they want nothing to do with this, they are gone. Five does successfully determine that this weapon in front of it is not a thing it can fight. So he's going to ignore that. Uh, he's going to move also to attack Brask. So basically run through the spiritual weapon. Uh, basically trashes its gun because it was broken and pulls out a truncheon and goes to hit you, Brask. Uh, it now has advantage because of pack tactics. Oh, oh yeah. That thing. Mm-hmm. How annoying is that? <laughs> I wish we uh, were a pack. Natural 20 on the first hit. Uh, Ooh! Bro, bro. Was that, is that a hit or a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder. Yeah, what's, the, what's the armor class that's up against? Uh... Yeah. Um, seven points of damage. Eleven. Oh, Eleven or seven? Seven. Oh, seven. Oh, not, not very high. Much better. Okay. okay. Still alive for the moment. And the second attack is a 23. For the moment, I said. For the moment. <laughs> and that is four points of damage. Okey-dokey. Cool. Um, that is all of their turns. Talk around, Tali. Yes, okay. I'm going to move the spiritual weapon. I can't actually move it, but I'm going to move it. Um, <laughs> I can't move on. I can fix that. Give me a second. You should now be able to move it. Wow! Yes. Technology. So I'll move it at 5, 10, 15, 20, there you yep. Try to move it closer to me. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I, I moved it, so I might as well use it. Um, yep. So I'm going to use it. Do, 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 do. Oh, this. Ooh, 18 plus 6. 20. Uh, that will hit. Roll damage. Something. Yes. Five. Oh no! So eight. Uh, and we'll do an extra five radiant damage. Well. Yes. Uh, this is number one, isn't it? Yes. Number uno. Yeah. Uh, so what's that total? Five so, plus eight. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Five Still standing. Eight. Just about. It is force damage. I don't know if that mo- is it technically meant to move them or not. No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. Uh, force damage is basically just is it's pure magical damage. That's fine. Um. Okay. That's that. That's okay. Sorted. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we have a slightly more complicated situation. I mean, I'm, do, did everybody see it? the... I'm guessing not, so Tali would relay the information oh, that... Yeah, only you've seen it. Okay. Um, they're trying to leave with Chad, uh, is what she would say. Um, am I... Wherever I go, like, even if I kind of fly up or fly down, am I going to be in the sight of the crow lady? Yes, pretty much. Even if you get out of her sight line, mm-hmm. she'll see where you go. That's fine, but like, can I break line of sight from her? Yes, then so don't if you pull into like, basically if you get right next to the building and go down to ground level, because mm-hmm. she's where she's situated on the roof, she's kind of in the middle of the roof. So if you get right against the wall, she can't see you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. There's, 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 yeah, how far can I actually move? Let's find out. That's... Okay, so I could move. I mean, if you I get increased movement, don't you, when you're flying? 
Uh, it's just thirty foot, so fly. Like, but I think it's just fly. Oh. Okay, I, have, I have a flying speed. I think. Hang on. I uh, thought you got increased movement speed. Maybe I do. Hang on. So, um, you have a flying speed. <laughs> it's That's insane. it. Thirty feet. Then. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, if I make a, if I go diagonally around number four, I could make it to where Chad is. Yeah. Because we're allowing me to do that. Although I, I can't. Yeah. I need to stay within sixty feet of the spiritual weapon, though. I believe. No, you don't. Oh, okay. You just need to see the targets he's trying to hit. That's the only problem. Yes. So if I go yeah, there. Yeah. So you basically fly over one of them and land next yeah, to this guy so... who's carrying Chad. Um. I think what would I want to do? Can I? Could I just take Chad from him? <laughs> yes, you can uh, make you mean opposed um, grapple check essentially. So you make an athletics mm. check versus his athletics check. Mm, okay, strength's not great. If only I'd save my hero. Um, no, it's fine. Um, if I put a net on the just just theoretically now, if I use a net, would Chad also get caught in the net? Uh, yes. But you could if, choose, I, if I you just could net both of them essentially. Well, uh, mm. can I touch Chad from where I am? Because I might just heal him. <laughs> yes, that would also work. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, I might, yeah, I might do that actually. Because then I'll have some backup. So I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds at second level. So I'm just gonna like right behind, reach behind, and then um, touch Chad. Uh, let's do that, so... so the healing is, is a Cure Wounds? Yeah, it's Cure Wounds. Um, so that would be 11. 11 points. Um, Chad, you gain HP. You burst awake. You're out of the fresh <laughs> well, air. In the arms be, of some stranger. In the arms of some man. Excellent. I've got... Was that 11 points of damage? Yeah, of, uh... 11. Yes, it Excellent. was. Excellent. Light. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, I think that's probably me, but I did, so I cast Shield of Faith a while ago. I didn't, I don't, I don't know the specific amount of turns that have happened since. We are on turn five. So it's probably still going. Really? Oh, okay. Yep. This is the first round of turn five. All right. That's fine. Then, it's then, funny then, yeah. and it's slow. Like it's been 30 seconds since this all started, by the way. Yeah. We've moved. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you say so. Uh, <laughs> no, no, right. oh boy. Suspension of um, disbelief. <laughs> yes, I think that is me. It's hard to picture it when you spend like two minutes trying to work out how Chaos Bolt works, but yeah. in theory that only takes six seconds for it to happen. Like it gets complicated. Um, yes. Okay, that's you. Uh, yeah, Chad, you're alive. <laughs> you're awake. Fun. Uh, Chad, we, we, need, we need your help. <laughs> Please. Quick run, uh, uh, crows on the roof. Um, <laughs> Sudan here, and the others are fighting some people over there. Oh. So fun. I also, I, I love the fact that Chad is still being. Am I being carried or dragged? Um, it would probably like you mean like almost like Feynman. You're on this guy's shoulders now you're as like... he's been running out of the building. Oh, I just like cut your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So your mouth is pretty close to his neck, probably. Ooh. Yeah, but but as soon as you wake up, Chad, you know what you see? You see big godling energy right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Oh. <laughs> big godling I energy. Like, yeah. Judging you like, for your sins. Eyes, yeah. Of silvery eyes, the, the, the wings that you've not seen before. <laughs> like, oh boy. Big scared. Yeah, yeah, this is a good point. This is, the, yeah, the most godling I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Tali yeah. is pissed. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Godling. Mm, I love it. Okay. Uh, something happens in the turn you're not sure about. Great. Ooh. Christina, so you, I assume you're going to continue using your water to control the... to put out the fires. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Chad, it's your turn. It has... Chad, Chad has, like, yeah, he's, he's, he's gone down... He's had his whole memory thing, and he's woken up, and he's he's, he's looking, yeah, straight at the most godling that Tali has, has ever has ever godlinged. Uh, yeah. <laughs> on this guy's back. Now, I'm imagining as we as we just discussed. So, like, 
arms and and head <laughs> like like jumped over this guy's thing. Yeah. Does he have any kind of melee bladed melee weapon in some kind of like like at his at his waist? You or this guy? He the the guy. Uh, no, he had this. He has this truncheon that is sort of tucked away. Uh, and then there's still the rifle on his back, but that's it. Oh. Oh, he probably, he probably has a dagger. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah have, have a dagger. So a yes. dagger. Cool. I'm gonna stab in the back with his own dagger. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you easily just pull it out. Um, so a dagger is a weapon you're proficient with. So uh, roll to hit. Roll to hit. Should I just do that? Uh... How do I do this? I roll, have... roll with the hit from your sword, and I'll tell yep. you what damages in a second. Cool. So sixteen to hit. That will hit. Mm. Uh, so the damage will be—it's a D4. So basically, roll a D4 and then add whatever bonuses you would normally add to your sword. Okay, so D4 know. plus five. Yes. Adam, quick question. So you know, it's the polearm master um, mm -hmm. feat. If I so if when they enter my reach range, yep. which is ten feet, if I put them in that range, does it still count? No. Or no? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so that was seven. Seven points of damage, and this is to number two, isn't it? He's carrying you. I believe so. Can I have a uh, vision back? Uh, yes, you absolutely can. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, first, I, first instant um, stab. Second instant look around. Um, I'm gonna put some psionic uh, strike on that. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna add seven. <laughs> I'm gonna double that damage. Uh, okay. Please, that's fourteen uh, damage. Uh, so you know, it was another seven, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, this guy screams out in unexpected pain as he was not expecting a psionically infused dagger to be shoved into his back as he's running. I mean, yeah. who expects that? Um, <laughs> am I? Am I still? Is he still carrying me after that? Um. Yes, but only in the, for the moment. He, he is stumbling from the sudden pain. Um, actually, hold on. Let me just roll something for him. Let's find out. Uh, let me get a constitution check for him. He rolled a 19, so actually, despite the sudden surprise, like, he, this is a dangerous situation, and he was expecting this to be under fire from other people. Um, so although it's a surprise you stabbed him in the back, he wasn't unexpecting of pain, so he's still holding on. He's like, ah! Shit! <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> yep, so, okay. You know, we'll see how yeah. he looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife. Um, uh, also, is this is this a nice knife? What kind of knife is this? Uh, let's see if it kills a guy first or not. <laughs> let's see if it kills a guy first. Yeah. And always on the lookout for new shiny. Yeah, that's a twenty-three. To hit. That'll hit. Roll damage. Roll damage. So that was what? That was a D four. D four. D four plus five. That's six to hit, six damage. Six damage. Can I add Sonic to that again? Uh, on, right? Read the ability. Once, once, once each of your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, so, so six points uh, damage. Okay. Uh, this guy is surprisingly still standing, just about. But okay. he, you have torn shreds into his back with his dagger. And um, you're holding it like, like, this is a nice dagger. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice in the hand. Uh, I'm also going to use my bonus action, Second Wind, to regain 10. That's yeah. a 1d10 plus 5. Oh, that's HA. a lot of wind. That is good, isn't it? Yes. Uh, which one's a d10? That is. That. Is it that one? Hang on. 4, 6, 8. What's the one with the two? The two diamonds? Uh, that can is I... what's called a percentile dice. You don't want... can, I just, can I just roll my actual die one? If you just hover over them, it should say. Oh, you want a tablet or something? I'm on, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on tablet. Okay. Yeah, um, the one, ab yeah. one above the two, the two dice is D10. Or the third from the top. That's five. So I regain another ten. Cool. Pretty good. Good work. Uh, I'm imagining that I would need to make a strength save action to uh, a, a strength check action to stop being grappled with him, so I don't have to move. Yes. Yes. You can't. That's do nothing else on your turn. Uh, um, Chad's, Chad's gonna, Chad's gonna <laughs> sort of give a thumbs up to to Tarly. You're Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something new? Thanks for the assist. Your, you've done something to your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that that's like between stabs, just small talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you win. Yeah, you got, 
<laughs> and, and while Awkward Small Talk is going around the corner, Brass, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, well, well, well. Brass has got number one, number five. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to bite number one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Nom nom. And which is... And that rolls. Oh, it's a nine. It's not great. Uh, nine will not hit. Uh, number one is ducking and weaving. Like, although it's kind of awkward because you are grappling him with your teeth. So as soon as you let go to try and bite again, he pulls away. Mm. And that's why you miss. Um, can I? Ooh, this is an idea. I'm going to... Uh, wait, where is everybody else? Devil's behind me. Um, I'm going to sort of throw myself back a little bit and then use web to make a big wall across the the street to separate them from us. Uh, Yeah, I love it. Raska's not going to bite for once. I like it. Um, So you've got to pull yourself back. Okay, so they'll... Take a tap of opportunities on you as you pull back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stand on this guy's corpse. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> assuming I make it. I mean, unless you get not unconscious, they all, you'll make it. Uh, so one is a 11 to hit. Uh, nope. And the other is a 23 to hit. It'll be one little bop. And that is four points of damage. So you jump back, you... you... <laughs> how do you cast web? <laughs> I'm gonna make you justify this, because I'm not sure how this one's gonna work. <laughs> um, nicely, it's a good <laughs> question. I mean... Is it, do your bees make like a really quick like honeycomb across the street? Oh my god, that would that be is, so Yes, cool. like that a is Like a sticky honeycomb. Yeah. So, so like, as I'm like darting back, the bees have lined up on the floor in front of me. And it just looks a bit strange. And then Braska's gonna like sort of uh, like make a yeah. make like this honeycomb web rise. Like yeah. the mummy. With the, the bees line up and they're all like 3D printers like do 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 yeah, do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and they suddenly 3D, 3D print, print this like hexagonal it is like a it's like still hollow. It is like a web, oh. but it is made of like these honeycomb like hexes. Cool. I love it. Um Yeah. So Yes, they do that across the street. Um, excellent. Anything else your turn? Um, I think that's probably all I've got. Um, yeah, I think that is me. Oh, actually, no. Uh, that doesn't count as an attack, does it? Uh, it's not an attack. Yeah. It is a spell, but it's not an attack. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's all I got then. Yeah. Cool. Um, cool. That's in your turn. Pebble, your turn. Hello, I'm here. Um, what are you going to do? I am going to, in an effort to not obviously break um, the webbing, so I have to... One second, one second, one second. Mm. Huh. Mm. Mm. One second. Uh, but then, no, it's not. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little Chaos Bolt, but only at level 1. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, but, but first, one. No, one sec. Let's do it nicely. Only D4. Yeah, D4 first. That's a four. Was that the bad one or the good one? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. The problem with custom rules is hard to remember. Uh, remember. Let me have a quick look. I can get it quickly. Da, 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 da. Here. I mean, and the rest of the party and the chat and the thunder is the only <laughs> the only thing where I can do damage with. So four. Uh, this is what, yeah, what magic happens on a four? Oh! Um, hey. So, start with the actual spell you're doing. Uh, roll to hit. Cool. 
very good. Uh, so I've cast it no matter what, right? Yep. Uh, so mm, twenty-three to hit. To hit. That will hit. Well, the damage. So two d eight plus the one d six. Uh, two d eight. Two d eight. Six or seven. Two d eight. La la la. And that it, that can be either poison or psychic. Psychic. Um. It feels like a theme. Come on, stick with psychic. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sticking with Psychic, and I am targeting still number... Oh, no, no, the other one. Five. Five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now... And roll the d6 as well, and then tell just, me what the total is. Just one little d6. Uh, but, but, one second, uh, because I wanted to do something. Ah, uh, oh, no, I didn't... Uh. Oh, no, yeah. All right, yeah. One d6, then. One d6. Oh, and six! What was Cool. And what was the eights? What did uh, they come to? It was six and seven, six wasn't and it? Six and seven, yeah. So twelve plus nineteen points of damage. Oh boy! Why? Ooh! Hey. Jeez, this yeah. guy just almost like collapses on the floor, just in pain suddenly. Oh, eighteen actually. You do this. But yeah. Oh, whatever. So, no, 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 um, no. You're, you're right. No, nineteen. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but while that's happening, please roll me a d12. <laughs> this is what Glad I'm kind of far away. This is what, what the fun begins. I've rolled a five. Cool. Okay. Uh oh. Um, you cast this spell, this bolt goes, well, it's almost invisible, it's almost like a warping in the air as this guy hits the floor. And Brass, you watch as Pebble holds his hand out and then kind of like just suddenly looks a bit weird. And then you just watch as rapidly forming over Pebble's form is this, it almost looks like stone at first, but then very quickly comes back to you, especially Brass. That this cocoon just forms around Pebble and completely encases him in a cocoon as he's like stuck to the wall. <laughs> great, great. Fantastic. And we'll come back to that in a bit. <laughs> so that's in your turn, Pebble. Yeah, <laughs> it'll have to be. Right. Interesting choice of words there, cocoon. Cocoon! Mm -hmm. yep. weirdly, weirdly appropriate, almost also. Pebble's going to be a beautiful butterfly! Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um, Cool. Uh, it's now the missus turns, and one and five, you watch as they just book a retreat at this point. Hey. Like, this, this, we are fucked, we're out of here. And you watch as they run off down the street out. Um, <laughs> I like how they run. Four like... and two are going to try and do the same, although two does uh, drop you on the floor, Chad, Wait, as he's if, doing it. If they, if, they, if, they, if they leave my thingy, I will take opportunity attack. They do. So you watch as four is going this way. And two is going that way. So definitely, Tali and Chad, you both got opportunity attacks. Tali, you get well, two. I, I guess we could thing. do four, and then Chad could do number two. As well. Can I can I roll something to see if I land on my feet or if he just drops me on on? You probably wouldn't land on your feet realistically. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go with number two because that one was the one we already. Yeah. Um, it's just a uh, normal. Yep, roll hit with the glaive. Ten. Ten? Yep. That no, does not hit. Oh, Sad. Uh, you watch as uh, this glaive swings at this guy as he just gets away, Chad. Uh, but you get an attack of opportunity too. But uh, I'm presumably prone now. So disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I want to try and slash at this guy's um, uh, Achilles tendons with his Amazing. Own knife oh, God. As, he, as he goes. <laughs> so with disadvantage. Let me press the disadvantage button, which I can never remember where that is. If you uh, hold roll it. Yeah, hold, hold down, it should bring a little menu up, but you can just yeah. press it twice, it's probably easier. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do it twice. Oh, yeah, disadvantage. Good. With there you roll. go. They were the exact same. Uh, <laughs> so they are both 20 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> that will hit. Roll damage. <laughs> Great. They were both 14 plus 6. Oh, some damage. Uh, damage. What was that? D4. 1D4 plus whatever plus else you add to it. Yeah. So that's nine directed at that guy's uh, okay sentence. He had eight HP left. So how would you like to do this, Chad? I'll just I'll just cut one of his feet off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so with a dagger, it's not so much you cut his feet no, off, but yeah, you do no, like slice right, you know. through the back of his boot, and you watch as this guy just collapse on the floor. Yeah. And it's like crawling away. Imagine this: what you like stand up, Chad, and just walk over to yeah. this guy as he's like crawling away. You look at him. 
you watch as he kind of looks up towards the rooftop where the crow is. Yeah. And then just sort of turns around to look at you instead. Can I make it not a, a hit to kill? Well, if it's if it's a, it's a killing tendon, he's he's run out of HP. I would like to. Oh yeah. yeah. And as I said earlier, any melee attack you can decide is non-lethal. So yeah, although no, the no. guy is like bleeding out, you can come up to him basically just like hit him around the Punk back him. of the head, uh, with the edge of the like, pommel of the dagger, and just yeah. knock him out. Yeah. So it's, two is uh, on punches. Before he, before I do that, and uh, Ch Ch Chad's gonna be like, uh, yeah, uh, you've got some. You've got some answers. Uh, so you've got some talking to do. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Um, number four just books it off in down the street. And with that, a sort of strange calm yeah. falls the, over the, the battlefield. The crow is still on the roof, right? You have a quick look, Tyler. You got to fly out of the look, and the crow is gone. Hmm. I mean, but I mean, oh yeah, because I and can't. And you can hear the shouting of 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 people being directed by Christina as they're trying to put uh, out the pub. Oh. You hear this kind of shh noise as fire is being put out. As as the the uh, patrons start to make their way inside the pub to put out the fire, and um, it looks like the five fellows will live in some fashion. Uh, yes, go on your question. Is that flying? And I'm still yep. flying. And this person has this bit. Can I like just fly up? And yes. do a perception check. Roll me a perception yeah. check. Hey. We'll make this oh. the last thing we do. Ooh! Uh, uh, 18 plus 6. 14. 24? Okay. You fly up and you sort Where of start scanning around. Uh, mm -hmm. You see the various Mesa agents running off that you've just, you know, dispatched. And you're like looking around and you just about catch. Running and jumping from rooftop to rooftop is the crow. Just leave it. Probably going to chase her. Uh... Well, we can come to that next session. Mm -hmm. And Indeed. this is where we will end today's session mm -hmm. with Good. you. We did it, though, somehow. You did do it somehow. You didn't lose chance. It was getting close. Yeah. It went better than the you women. And, well, for me. And the pub was saved. And the pub yeah. was saved. Hey, well, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> And Are I we have to walk how much is burned or I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> what kind of state it's in. I wasn't expecting this. it to live and then here I was like we to keep I it in the pub. Not... <laughs> I was not expecting it to live. Um, I mean we all, we always got have the it's guild deal. Home. If we if we wanna relocate the guild of the deal. Nah. Yeah, guild of the deal. <laughs> well, uh, the guild deal is now bought by yeah, um, we the guy. Yeah. Nah, we don't care about that guy. It's also a you know a cul-de-sac full of ex-cultists, um, yeah. essentially. They're probably yeah. not the most popular people in that cul-de-sac. Yeah, they're probably not. But fine, you've still got the five fellows in whatever ruined state he's in. Probably down to about um, three fellows now. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, but still, most importantly, Bertrand and Helga were not in the pub. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. That's that is something you'll have to figure out for next time. Mm. And uh, I also have to find... We also have to find... Uh, we also got to figure out what the fuck's going on with your cocoon yeah. form. Because uh -huh. yeah, well, you don't know what's going on yeah. with that. Yeah. Nice. Going to be a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so good. Oh, cool. Well done, guys. That was really good. Yay. That was really good. I've got, I've got, I've got Big two combat. theories. I've got mm. two theories about who the uh, who the crow is. Interesting. Well, we can talk about them off, off yeah. the stream because that'd be more interesting. Um, but I like, I like that you have theories. Brass. Definitely brass. Um, cool. Right. Hero token. Hero token, yes, yes that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. My brain is all fuzzy. Yeah. This might be the longest uh, session we've ever done, so my brain just went blah. Yeah. And it was all no, combat. I know. Um, I think Sarah, who would you like to give the hero token to? Yeah, I think I'm going to give the hero token to to Brask, actually, because of the, the like, have, having the debate in combat time about what the morning wants to do. I liked it. It was very true to the character, and um, yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah. Aww. And just Thank walking you. off the roof. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. If that had worked, that would have been the coolest thing he'd ever done. Yeah. It's like proper like swat, yes, yeah, just swaggering down from the roof on the st of steps of bees, but nope. I really, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really wanna, I really wanna keep finding like ridiculous ways to use the bees. So like the honeycomb. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I love it. Cool. Yes. So you have the inspiration token for next time. But cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy the game. 
Uh, obviously, if you did, you can catch it again here in two weeks' time. If you turn on notifications, you'll be able to find out when we go live. If you want to rewatch our last session, that is up on YouTube now. And this session will be up on YouTube next weekend, so you can catch it there. Uh, you can also find us on Twitter, at Smitey Games. You can find out when we go live, or we post clips, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, we've been Small and Mighty. Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.